Sensors online. Weapons systems online. All functioning systems nominal. Hello, hello, hello. Once again, welcome to the Amazing Life Show. I'm Azami and uh, it's been a wonderful, wonderful rainy evening here in Singapore and I heard that in Malaysia it's also raining heavily also. So a big hello to all our friends in Malaysia. Uh, I think tonight is going to be really special again for the Malaysians because you guys have a representative from Malaysia joining us this time. Uh, we're going to have Kelvin Wong who is actually... I knew him as a commercial... Oh, sorry, as a cosplay photographer first but somehow he evolved into this massive commercial shooter i mean i i don't know how else to describe him but he is such an amazing inspiration right now he is able to um create wonderful works of art and he's actually um he's actually uh, capable of uh doing a lot of amazing commercial works right now and uh being recognized as a sony alpha guru is one of his greatest achievements and we're going to actually have him in the hot seat today and we're going to talk to him and find out a little bit more about his life as well as what drives him for his pursuits okay so um just now i came online for a little bit for an in between episodes kind of uh session just to share with you guys some of the changes that will be coming to the amazing live show so first of all i think uh, most of you guys probably know about this but uh right now we are actually working to get a razor so if you guys want to support this channel and want to see it flow and grow um you guys can actually do some kind of uh support in terms of donations and tips by giving some to the tip stream all right so basically one thing i like about the tip stream is that um razor gold is what you use to buy the shards and uh, this one involves a little bit of, a little bit of cash money but uh in terms of uh, uh cost it's not that much i mean like uh, 100 shards is about one dollar usd so it's it's a very small amount but over time as you accumulate you actually have the ability to get silver or rather razor silver which you can use to uh, redeem any of these games or even better still razor gear so if you are looking at uh, possible upgrades to your gaming system or even your computer system you know get a new mouse a new keyboard a new kick ass headset um, even a mouse pad with chroma that means uh, it lights up with rgb this is where you can get the loot all right so this is one of the things that is a major change that's happening to the channel we are fully supported by razor in terms of uh tip stream um so if you guys want to actually support the channel and receive rewards this is the way to go all right so i'm just gonna say a little bit of hellos to some of the folks who just joined in alex hi nice to see you spencer good to see you as well jackie hi Lester and Urs. Urs Recker is going to be here with me tomorrow evening, but he's currently watching right now. I guess he's trying to get an idea how the show is going to be like, but that'll be really fantastic. So if you guys could join us tonight and tomorrow with Urs, I think that'll be great as well, right? So tonight is all about Kelvin. Um, let's see, on Twitch, who is online right now? We have Emily Flip. Hello. Uh, we also have uh, Nat. Natalie, nice to see you as well. Muffin Source. Hello, fellow Razor Tip streamer. <laughs> so anyway... I was also sharing this evening before I came on to this show to do uh, an in-between episode session. We are currently um, being supported by Sigma Singapore as well. So right now, I'm actually streaming with a brand new Sigma lens. This is the 16mm f1.4. Thank you so much, Sigma Singapore, for giving me this opportunity to use your lens. Uh, they've also provided with another lens, which I've kept in the dry cabinet. There's the 1224 and... Uh, Wait, no, sorry, 14 to 24 and uh, 2470. Yeah, so these two lenses plus the one I'm using right now, there's three lenses all together. We're going to make full use of them. We're going to see and explore and try to see what else I can do with the streaming. All right. Um, the third thing I need to announce is that uh, as of next week, I'll be only streaming on two days. All right, two. Dua. <laughs> okay, only two days. Um, it's not because I don't want to. I really love streaming, but uh, it's just that uh, it's very tiring. <laughs> okay, so I've been streaming on Tuesdays and Fridays as well as Saturdays. It got to the point where I'm kind of quite checked out and I decided like, okay, you know what? I'm going to cut down on one of those days. So I'm going to stream only on Tuesdays at um, 8 p.m. Singapore time and Saturdays at 5 p.m. Singapore time. So just keep yourself updated. I'll change the schedule on my Twitch panel again um, just to keep you guys uh, updated as well. All right. So, next, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about 
some shout outs alright so uh, this is my personal website you guys can check out my social media as well um, now I have a live stream channel um, link here so if you guys go to my website you want to see where to watch the live stream this is where to go and you notice that this is just pointing to the Twitch channel we're not gonna point it to Facebook why because basically another thing I want to talk about is I'm not going to stream to Facebook anymore, right? So Facebook Live, as you guys know, is stuck in the era of 2015 where they are just streaming everyone at 720p. This is 2020, guys. Keep out the times. We are supposed to go up to 1440p minimum or even 1080p at least. Um, I don't know why anyone would still want to stream at 720p. It's just bad, all right? So there's that. So I'll be streaming on my Twitch, pan uh, Twitch channel from now yeah. on. So right, this so is... There's that. Okay, so this is my Twitch channel. You can check out some of the things here in the panel as well. Um, you can see the list of sponsors that are on board with uh, my channel. And you can also stream, oh uh, sorry, you can leave tips here through the tip stream from this link here as well. And you can see the schedule which I will update to reflect only Tuesdays and Saturdays. Uh, at the same time, we also have this going on. So the more you chat in Twitch, the more likelihood that in June, I'll pick a winner for the most chattiest person in the month all right so if you guys are more active in the chat box in twitch only twitch i don't know facebook facebook sorry no no parquet all right on twitch you actually have a chance to win something i haven't decided the price yet but uh, i'll work on something i'm currently in talks with some companies and some brands and see let's see how it goes all right uh and i can assure you the price is gonna be really fun and nice it's not gonna be one of those boring nonsense okay so there's that as well and we also have a suggestion box so if you guys have any suggestions on who else I'm supposed to bring onto the show or you have any topics in mind that you want me to share uh, and talk about, yeah, just fill in the suggestion box here below. All right. So this is Twitch, all right, the, the way forward where I'm going to stream only. I'm not going to stream on Facebook anymore. Um, at the same time, also, I still have my Facebook page. It's still up. There you go. You can see myself and all that, right? Uh, my Facebook page is still up. I will still put updates here as to my upcoming schedule or even uh, announcements for next workshop whatsoever when COVID-19 is eventually out. Uh, so this is still going to be active. You can also uh, follow me on Twitter. All right, I will get Jarvis, my bot, to type out my uh, social media links later. But this is my Twitter account so you guys can actually see my latest updates with regards to the channel or, well, daily going on. All right. Um, if you missed a particular episode of the amazing live show now twitch doesn't really keep all the videos sometimes so i upload all past videos onto my youtube channel so you guys can watch it you can also tune in to my uh, behind the scenes videos as well so if you guys are interested to see how i do my photo shoots and things like that this is where you can go as well all right so this is my youtube channel and if you guys want to <laughs> leave some tips here uh there's actually a scoreboard as well so we do have some folks here who actually left some tips thank you so much to forge fox uh, stream Mahi Mahi, Gabriel Ho Music, and Zig Strife for their wonderful contribution to the channel by donating via the Razor Tip stream. All right, so um, tonight we're gonna have Kelvin Wong. Okay, Kelvin Wong, I knew him back then as a cosplay photographer with his own uh, uh, what do you call that um, outfit called Moonhawk Photography, which is still active now. Um, but he has since grown and become something bigger. All right, he has uh, evolved like Pokemon, like that. Uh from a very young, shy cosplay photographer. When I first met him, I think it was in 2017 or 2018, I can't remember, it was in KL, in Cupcat Images Studio. Um, and that was the first time I actually introduced him to Capture One. And uh, to be honest, back then he was quite shy, quite reserved, um, doesn't really speak up much. And I recall speaking to him a few days later and asking him about his works and things like that, just to get to know him better. He was still, you know, quite reserved. I mean, I wouldn't say he's a total introvert, but he was quite quiet, all right? He was capable of talking to people. I mean, as a photographer, you can't be an absolute introvert. It's, it's very hard unless you're just shooting products. But uh, I mean, even if you shoot products, you still need to talk to clients and you still have to open up, right? But he was just so quiet. And suddenly, I, 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 I've been following his work and suddenly I can see there's, there's, this, there's this jump, you know? Like, like you, can, he, you can see that he's making a very extraordinary change in his life. Suddenly, he's like this rock star photographer shooting in Vietnam, shooting all over Malaysia, shooting in, I think, Singapore as well. And he's producing all kinds of work that really pushes his creativity standards. And and I, I, I'm very, I, I have to say this, I'm very privileged to know him because 
looking at him and the way he 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 pursues his dreams and realizes his vision it really reminds me that nothing is impossible all right so this is kelvin wong's works i mean he was a cosplay photographer or he is a cosplay photographer still shooting on the side for fun um but look at his works i mean if you compare his current works in terms of cosplay photography with his old works it's it's massively different okay you can see that his works are just so amazing right now uh, let me just close all these windows oops <laughs> i just gave him a thumbs up <laughs> okay sorry calvin i know you're watching right now but i'm sorry okay so you can see that uh he has pushed the boundaries of uh, cosplay photography um it's, it's got a very nice classic feel to his shots that's it, it's just so clean you know there's, there's so much uh uh so much i would say finesse all right i would say finesse when it comes to his work all right and i mean look, look at this this is brilliant okay all right so uh, his shots have have improved significantly but this is not really what i want to show you guys i really want to show you guys his website okay check out his portfolio Okay, so this is where he keeps all his commercial work, and you can see that he does still have his cosplay works as there uh, as well for um, uh, show showcasing, show for showcasing, <laughs> right? But he does commercial works like fashion. Uh, he does work for magazines. He does work for corporate branding. Uh, he covers events and concerts, and he gets to rub shoulders with amazing stars in the industry. I think that is amazing. Oh, Kaito is welcome back to the channel, <laughs> right? Uh, he does wedding, of course, and he does product and food photography. So, you can see that he's he's gone, you know, full commercial, and he covers quite a fair bit of a uh, uh, genre. All right, let's let's look at some of his fashion works. I mean, look at that. This is this is like magazine worthy stuff. You know, uh, I'm I'm sorry if I'm like skimming really fast, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share the link with you later on, so you guys can take a look later. Um, of course, I will get Kelvin to speak more about his works as well. I think it's more important that you know you guys hear it from himself about his personal experience and how he he gets to get all these jobs. All right, I'm pretty sure that most of you guys who are tuning in right now, some of you guys could be cosplay photographers yourself, trying to find a place in the grand scheme of things and trying to find a way into the commercial world of photography. And I think I think um, yeah, Amos Amos Po said his works are amazing. Yes, he is. His works are amazing. It's, it's, it's really something, isn't it? Uh, I mean, like... Oh, man, Kelvin, I have I have no words to say. <laughs> this, is, this is just an amazing collection of artwork, you know? Um, especially especially how... Seeing how you actually evolve from a cosplay photography standpoint. I mean, like, uh, you you are just amazing. I, I, I'm just going to let you have the show later on. Just talk about how you, you've become what you are today, all right? So uh, without further ado, I'm going to bring Kelvin onto the channel. All right. Uh, Dominic, thank you so much for sharing the link to Kelvin Art Gallery. That's uh, Kelvin, Kelvin's uh, website. You can you guys can take a look at it later. But uh, now let's bring Kelvin onto the show. Let me get the other screen up. All right. Hey, Kelvin. Good to see you. Kelvin, good. Oh, let me unmute you first. Sorry. That's strange. I am. There we go. Okay. Yeah, there we go. We can hear you now. <laughs> All right. Sorry about uh, that. Welcome once again to the Amazing Live Show. It's good to have you guys. Uh, it's good to have you here. I'm very honored to actually have you join me tonight. And uh, especially so to think that uh, how much you have evolved. I was just sharing with the audience how much you have evolved and uh, how you've become so successful in your own career right now as a commercial photographer. And the fact that you have been recognized as a Sony Alpha Guru says a lot about your, your skill level right now. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for inviting us. <laughs> okay, Kelvin. All right. Yeah. Uh, sudah makan. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, no, don't worry. I'm not going to do this in Malay. My Malay is very bad. <laughs> yeah, so when was the last time we met each other, Kelvin? What is it? Sorry. When, when was the last time we met each other? Last time? Last time when you come to Malaysia for Promoter Capture 1 and uh, this one also. Mm. Like back to 2000. 17. <laughs> wow. That means we, we, we met only once. Ah? Um, no, before that, before that, we met on, I think it's Comic Fiesta. Comic Fiesta, back to Comic 2015. Comic Fiesta. Oh, yeah, in Singapore, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. oh, wow. Just, <laughs> your memory is better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> your your <laughs> memory is better than mine. I, I, I'm so sorry because <laughs> I can't really recall that, man. It's been a while. So, 
So yeah, just give me a second. That's strange. Right. My music is a bit too loud. Okay, that's me. That's much better. Okay, cool. Uh, there's a little bit of wonkiness because uh, right now the weather in Singapore is pretty bad. Uh, I just hope the internet connection is okay. Uh, those of you guys watching right now, if you have any problems with Facebook or Twitch, try to refresh your browser and you can you can view this again. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so Kelvin, uh, most of the folks out there probably know you as a cosplay photographer who became a commercial shooter, and you are now being prolific as a Sony Alpha guru, right? So. I mean, I just told these people, told this all to people, but I just want to hear more about yourself. Like, who Hi. is Kelvin Wong? All right, so can you just tell us a little bit more about yourself? Okay. Um, when I start for the photography, it's back to I think ten years ago, when I still the secondary school kid. <laughs> then I just you just you know, you know just uh, I just go to the, my part time job, part time job. And on the time I already joined the cosplay, mm. and I, and I when I first to going the cosplay event is back to two thousand seven. Wow, that was so long ago, thirteen years ago. Yeah, two thousand seven. That time is I think is thirteen years old. Mm -hmm. So that was the Kickstarter. My friend bring me to the comic fiesta for the, in the Times Square. So I just I just know oh, Mauritius have some of kind of event like this. So I think some like a magic you have that have to have something to catch catch you, mm -hmm. catching you. Then after that, I keep going every year, every year until now. So when I graduate my secondary school, then I just going for the image consultant school. I think it's effect for the cosplay. So I think I have involved something. Some something classes for beauty, so I just go for the image consultant. Then I study for the makeup artist and image consultant, Malaysia and Taiwan. So when I graduate, I just get into the image consultant area, the field. So when I work for the image consultant, I just realize something. I not really like to doing the image consultant to everyone. Oh, like, what do you mean by not not? not into everyone yeah you maybe you like to maybe i give you a sample but you like to cook but you don't have to become the chef ah okay so you rather have it as a, like a hobby kind of thing rather than turning into a yeah. career i see when i realized this is quite earlier it's quite earlier so when i when i realized i just decided then i just go for the photography go for go for photography back to the 2012 I think mm -hmm. 2012 so I just like after graduate I just go into the production house and look for the one years and after that I jump to the magazine but why why photography I mean you could have chosen anything else in the world but why photography uh, I think it's a hobby start for the hobby because I shot I shot cosplay mm -hmm. I shot cosplay then I have Something some friends told me about. I think you have kind of talent in photography, yep. so I have keep patient to push me up to keep doing more a lot a lot of stuff. Then I think an effect for many photographers in the world, like China photographers and Japan. I think most impact me is a uh, Won Wong. Won Wong, yeah. Uh, inspired me. You're, you're, inspired me. you're the second person on this channel to say his name, Benjamin Wong Wong. Maybe if I have a third person, I'll start to uh, reach out to him and see whether I can come on the show as well. <laughs> you, so, do you meet him? Uh, I haven't met him yet. Oh, let's make that possible one day. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, so i just been inspired. Hmm. Just been inspired. I watch a lot of YouTube of Wong Wong channel. So I just like kickstarted or oh, Photography can do a lot, a lot of stuff like, like painting. Oh yeah, like like painting. That's creative art of painting. So I'm just starting for doing that. Nothing is impossible. Yes, I agree. Keep in, keep keep explore more. Keep explore more in the cosplay stuff. I think it's cosplay is very good for me because you can um practice more. Some you can have a very good team, very very good team to doing a shot. Maybe you can keep brainstorming more and more better lighting, better color or better compositions. Right. 
So I think I, I think it's a I, it, in my in my in my life it cost me is very important because they are changing me. Right. So it's like a springboard to what you're doing now, right? Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, so change. next yeah. question I'm gonna ask you. Very very funny question is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we did talk about why photography. Now we're gonna ask you what did you shoot with when you first started. What was your first camera? My first camera is a Canon six hundred D. Back to the two thousand eleven, that mm-hmm. was my first camera. I'm probably I'm doing my part time job. First month salary, I just go buy it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, first month job and you, you actually managed to get it already. Must be a yeah. very high paying job. <laughs> um, actually, it's a waiter job in Devon. Uh, so, so, so you 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 waiter as well. Yeah, waiter as well. Oh, wow. I haven't haven't come out where haven't come up to haven't get it. I'm mm. still doing the still doing the waiter right. in Devon. Well, your story is almost similar to mine because I I also started as a waiter but I only lasted for two days because uh I couldn't stop eating. <laughs> 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 it's true story. One day I'll tell you about it. Okay, so um back then you also started out with uh, shooting cosplay photography, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, do you have like do you still have your old photos that you still keep around or do you like? I think I, I I have keep. Because I had I didn't delete the photos in my Facebook, so oh. people still can review back to the two <laughs> the photos there because I didn't delete. I think that is a memory to remind me to remind me how I am started. Yeah, I think that's a that's a good way to remember how you began. Yeah. Uh, yeah, how how I keep continue doing 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 all the stuff. Mm. Could you could you like uh maybe share some of your earlier works? Um, sure. I think I have to open my <laughs> Facebook first. Sure, sure. No problem. Uh, in the meantime, we do have some friends uh, on uh, Twitch as well as Facebook saying hi. Uh, probably friends of yours. Wong Eng Sing says hi to you. Oh, my, that's my partner actually. <laughs> oh, your partner. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's a videographer. He's a very good, very, very good videographer. Awesome. Yeah. We also have uh, Kaito Des. I think uh, that's Dominic. He knows you probably as well. I see. Yeah. Wait, my, wait a while. I just <laughs> that's the cool. Couldn't stop eating. Yeah, that, that explains my size. <laughs> Malaysia food and Singapore food is damn good, man. Yeah, <laughs> damn good. It's, wow, the nasi padang. Once you go to Indonesia, then you know what nasi padang is. Then you you realize that the whole of Southeast Asia, the food is really fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Malaysia, I like to go to Malaysia to eat nasi kan kandaha or something like that. Ah, I know, I know some shop. I know some shop. I can bring you there. Okay, it's steady, very steady. Very then, then I if that's the bring... case, uh, bro, I will. Oh, I no. share. I have to share the screen. Mm. Share my screen first. Yeah. Ah, yeah. I was supposed to show you something, but I, I kind of lost it in my table. I don't know where it went. So I just share my screen back to the two thousand straws. I think I caught a while. <laughs> you shot a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. You can um probably maybe this one. <laughs> oh, those are the first few ones, eh? Yeah, maybe maybe this one. So, this one is my old work back to the two thousand twelve, I think. So, yeah, two thousand twelve. Wow, twenty six March. Yeah, two thousand twelve years old. Holy ago. cow, that was so long ago. And so this was one of your first few pieces of work that you you uploaded, yeah. Yeah, the I think it's quite a first, first or third. Yeah, first or third. When I started photography, start photography, I think two months ago. Hmm. I just doing a shot. Then I just do it, taking my six six hundred D. Uh-huh. Then ti- very tiny reflector. Then just just go. Just just go out and shoot. Yeah, just just do it. <laughs> <laughs> could just you could it. you like open up one album and then we compare to your current cosplay shoots? I just want to see how far you've come. So I'm open a. Uh, okay, my first one. Mm-hmm. My first one and, and the last one you did. The last one. <laughs> It'll be quite a fun. Thing to see. I think quite quite fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is the picture that we use for the banner. Oh uh, yeah. Alex so, Alex Chrysler says, "Uh, there goes how you guys met." I think. Hi, Alex. Alex. That's my good friend. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is my first photo shoot in wow. uh, Animax. <laughs> I think back to two thousand twelve at Animax Carnival at the event. Right. So, this this one is my favorite one. <laughs> Yeah, you, you can see such a big change, you know, Kelvin. It's amazing. I mean, like, uh, but then your your shots were quite safe. 
right? I, I would say it's quite safe that, that you just showed them in a, you know, dry area. <laughs> and now look <laughs> at your current shot, it's like, you know, all this. Uh, is this real water or is it Photoshop? Uh, real water plus Photoshop. Because real I, this, actually this cosplayer is very special. Uh, mm -hmm. She is a photo retoucher. Mm -hmm. She worked for a very big company in Malaysia for the for, for Copic Star Room. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very big commercial commercial company. Yep. So I collaborate with her, just told that just told told her, how about you just cost these characters? I think it's uh, very suit very suitable for, for her. Yes. So when we doing the shots, uh after that, uh I'm doing half I doing half of the editing. Mm -hmm. She doing half of the editing. Ah, uh, so she handles all the special effects and things like that. So, uh, the the all the water is real, is real. So, mm -hmm. just using some tricks for the photo retouching stuff. Right. So I just uh editing for the lighting and mm -hmm. the color. Right. Amazing. That's yeah. I think it's very <laughs> very good shot. collaboration with each other. Different yes. different di different area, different feel. Yep. Okay, so what what made you actually want to go for cosplay photography? I mean, like, is it because of the costumes, the characters, the anime that you watch? Why? I am a big anime fan. When I when I when I young when I young when back to back back to my six years six six years old seven years old, <laughs> my sister and brother uh, let me watch a Digimon. Oh, so your <laughs> first anime was Digimon. Yeah, my first anime, first anime, anime is Digimon and Gundam. Dam. Oh, Gun oh, that's a very big difference between Gundam Dam W, I think. Gundam Dam Wing. Mm -hmm. is so, that, that was in a, what, when you were 7, 8? Yeah, when I was 7 and 8. Quite small, quite, quite small. So, <laughs> start at the time, I've been very, very crazy in manga and anime. Right. Awesome, Until awesome. So you also mentioned Benjamin Bon Wong actually is uh, one of your great inspirations behind your photography. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can you show me some examples or maybe you can just talk a little bit about some examples of how his shots or his behind the scenes has made you want to try out certain things which are probably reminiscent of what he has done. Okay. Mm. Uh, okay. One of the shots that I've been inspired in is uh, Wong Wong uh, going the Go in the water, uh, you know, the underwater. Underwater. The, yeah, the underwater. So when I saw that, when, when, when I saw that, like feeling nothing is impossible. So I want to try to. Okay. I, I want to try to. So I when I shot this album, and mm -hmm. another album is Underwater Two. Wait, where is it? I have to. <laughs> it's okay. No I have to roll around. Oh, I see. It. Is it a Subaki one? Or yeah, yeah, it's Subaki and the Sailor Moon underwater. So. So uh, this one. Oh, very ethereal. So this one, but I just collaborate with uh, this cosplayer when she uh, working for me to doing some doing a shirt. She say I want to shot a Stella Moon uh, dress version. So I think how about we do something special? We just shot underwater. Mm. And this was in twenty sixteen, four years ago. Yeah, twenty sixteen. Back in twenty sixteen. Wow. Back in twenty sixteen, so I shot quite a lot like this, then using more fabric, my like doing the floating floating effect. Mm -hmm. So I when I when I shot this like facing a actually it's a lot of problem. I using the I using the underwater casing is the plastic one. Uh D pack is it? Yeah the pack one. The pack yeah. What <laughs> was it a was it a problematic one because uh, you have uh water leaking into your camera? Uh they are, the luck very lucky they didn't have a water leaking but the problem is when the when, when the lens part the, the lens part not see very clear mm. there's a, quite a lot of sketch and the, and the glasses there. oh no that's terrible uh, that's terrible but, but the outcome is still fine the outcome is still fine that's so good. i'm just trying to do so when i shot this i think a lot of tricks a lot of tricks when you have to learn swimming swimming and everything else. <laughs> <laughs> well was it very difficult though to to keep yourself underwater yeah, I have to release all all, all the all, all the oxygen first and only let <laughs> the water, not let the water going down. Huh? And just wait for the timing. Let let the dresses and fabric flood. So I think it's about timing. Is is it true what they say when you are shooting underwater everything is a lot slower? Yeah, a lot slower. Like, <laughs> like your time 
10 minutes like uh 10 seconds like 10 minutes oh dear wow <laughs> I feel very, uh, very tough actually. And, and, and I suppose you need to be a very good swimmer. I suppose you, you can't just be like a beginner swimmer and trying to do this because it's too risky, right? It's too dangerous. Yeah. Mm. So another one is this one. I'm um, been inspired for one. Uh, sorry, been inspired one for one Wong and go go for the like forest there, the for forest ever to doing some dry ice. All right. To do it effect, but this one I think. It's very risky for just to be doing a shoot at night. Be going the one lake garden, lake garden like nobody there. Oh, the entire dark. Very, very risky. Yeah, very risky because we scared about uh, people drop you. We facing dangers, mm. any so uh, quite a situation there. Oh dear, but I'm I'm glad you guys are safe. This was like five years ago. Yeah, five years ago. Yep. So when I saw Wong Wong, uh, YouTube. Mm -hmm. I started crazy be crazy again. <laughs> like we do an entire dark. So I think what I learned in this photo shoot, so I when I create some effect, some effects, smoke effect or anything else, we, we prepare. Mm. So we need a one entire dark background so I only can see the effect. Right. So so basically you've done almost all kinds of photography. I mean based on your, your portfolio and cosplay underwater smooth effect how about fire yeah fire has wow is there fire anything that you have not done yet <laughs> let's see the done, fire one first uh, already done last year all right oh man as a fellow yeah. fire shooter i i can't i can't contain my excitement wow this is cool i really been inspired um for more people or photographer like singapore like you and Farid. Oh, and thank you. Yeah. That's true. That's true. That's true, man. That's true. I I'm so <laughs> when I shoot these photos, I'm doing a lot of reference. Do, doing a lot of reference. So how to make a fire bomb? How to make a fire effect? So we just using the uh, newspaper. Mm -hmm. Newspaper to doing the spark. So you just wave it about. Then the the thing sparks out. Yeah, the spark out. Wow. So. Cool. Create a foreground. I just create a foreground. So because because I actually I in my perspective I have, have to create a one fireball behind, but that that one is too dangerous. I don't want to do. Yeah, I don't want everyone everyone become dangerous. Too too risky for your cosplay and yourself. I mean, yeah. uh, underwater shoot is one thing. I mean, I like personally for me when I shot with fire, uh, we had to take into consideration a lot of things, um, such as security. Secondly, we yep. have to make sure safety. I mean, safety is always yep. number one, of course. Yep. Security number two. Uh, safety being that you have to make sure your crew is okay, the cosplay is okay, yourself okay. Then lastly, equipment okay. Uh, <laughs> so, so in this kind of shoots, how, how many people were there to, to assist you? Do you have a, like a big team or it's just yourself and one assistant and the two cosplayers or something like that? Uh, or actually, you well, have the credit here. Three helpers. Three helpers. Yeah, three helpers. Beatrice, Selva, Tom, Amateresu, uh, Kiep, Alex Chrysler is there as well, and Adrian Seong also. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, I see, I see. Yeah. Okay, sorry, I, I did not see the, the right side of the screen. I was looking, I was too <laughs> focused on the image because it, I think it's a brilliant image. <laughs> yeah, this, back, this just done last year. Last year. I just have uh, just challenge, just have a challenge, like, just do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, let's see what, what people are saying right now in the chat box. Uh, Amos asks, can we have a live tutorial? Uh, I, I can answer that for you. The answer is no right now. But uh, maybe in the future, if you're going to do a, like a live tutorial on how to do your shoots, I think that would be great as well because I know you've been running workshops as well, right, Kevin? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. So uh, Amos, if you want, maybe in the future when Sony has uh, another workshop and Kelvin is the one in charge of the, the, the training, then perhaps you can attend it as well, all right? So uh, Alex is saying, oh, sorry, let, let's see. Alex, no, Emily Flip says, Senseiya Lost Canvas. I have no idea what that is. I know Senseiya is uh, one of the anime. Ah, uh, yeah, it's an anime. Yeah, then uh, Kaito Des is like screaming, Rin Tosaka, the fake one. Yeah, the fake one. Yep. Yeah, and uh, Alex is like, Lake Garden is a large public garden and it's dark. It has a history of lots of robbing, robbery cases at night time. So doing a shoot there is very risky, especially at night time. And 
he is happy to say that he was there. <laughs> uh, he was there. <laughs> yeah, Alex is a very awesome guy. I mean, I've I've met him a few times. Uh, when I whenever I go to Malaysia, I always try my best to link up with him as well. Yeah. Perhaps the next time we can all hang out together. But this, yeah, my good friend too. I mostly are doing a lot of shot. He helped me a lot. Then give me an inspire a lot. Mm, yeah. Yeah. He very 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 awesome awesome photographer. Too. Yes. Yes. He is. He is. Yeah. Someday he'll be on his channel as well. Alex, watch for it. Okay. Uh, I realized that uh, on Facebook we have a uh, Mai Mai who is just joining. I think she was one of the models in this shot as well. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, pretty cool. Oh man, you even shot Ray Ayanami, one of my favorite characters. Oh, this one is now. MCO version. And, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> MCO version. So, how 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 do you do this? I mean, you're not allowed to travel, but yeah, this my uh, this Mai Mai is actually is my girlfriend. Ah, so, I see. I I stay with her. I stay, I stay with her. So when. The MCO, I think, is April twelfth. Mm -hmm. I like nothing to do. I have to do something. Okay, yeah, to do something. I just told her about just make up. We do some shots. I just shot this image. Wait up. The, no worries. I'm a little bit slow. Okay, for those of you who are wondering what is MCO, MCO means the it's movement restriction order for Malaysia. It was like a lockdown of sorts because of the yeah. pandemic. So no one is allowed to travel out for work or play or anything like that. So in this case, Kelvin actually got his girlfriend and, and himself a photo shoot done at home. So yeah. not going against the rules here. <laughs> so I'm just doing a doing this shot in here. This side is a window. Uh -huh. side, they have a one very pretty side in the day. So right. the time is around 6 p.m. around 6 p.m. around it's a sunset. So we're just doing a shot, doing, doing a quick shot photo shooting so I'm just doing that some front mm -hmm. some front doing a magazine style right. so when I type when, when I got her to do the do the, do the shot the post data I will show you the reference pretty good and it's just a uh, natural light right uh, just with natural, for... natural light natural light being 150 mm and you're you're blessed that your room is actually facing the sunset yeah 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 oh lucky you my my room is facing another building. There's nothing. <laughs> yes, my yes, my house is very near very near a mountain. Very near what? Mountain. Really? Wow. Yeah. Yes, my house my uh, my house is very near a mountain. So the the air there the air there is very clean. The mm. Air is very clean. Oh, lucky. So after okay. so every time after rain you definitely will see the lighting kind of like this. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, you guys in Malaysia, you're very lucky that you all have nice space, you know, residential areas near the, the nature and all that. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You guys are very blessed. My house, <laughs> open the window, I see another building. There's nothing there. <laughs> Amazing work. Amazing work. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Mm. Okay, so now that you've actually covered cosplay, commercial work of different genres, what other genre that you have not tried yet that you really want to try? really want to try mm -hmm. mm, i think it's faction sorry high faction high, high faction. faction high, high faction. faction in my in, in my work i have short faction too but it's not really like not really like you have to plan everything mm -hmm. i haven't tried uh one shoot is like you have to plan everything for the photo shooting for the faction mm -hmm. like collaboration with a uh, uh, fashion designers to travel, travel other countries, so travel other just for the shoot. So I think I want to try that. Yeah, if you have a chance. Which which countries have you gone to do shoots at already? Already done shoot, you right? You mean for commercial work? Yeah. Um, Vietnam. Mm -hmm. Vietnam, Japan. Nice. Hong Kong as well. So I've been Taiwan for the travel travel magazine stuff, mm -hmm. and Singapore also. For the magazine stuff also, so uh, another thing, another country. Wait, where is it? Uh, let, let, let me let me let me think about. <laughs> sure, no problem. Let me think about is, I haven't been Indonesia yet. I haven't been Indonesia yet. Then I have going to Thailand. Mm -hmm. Going to Thailand like trip, just for one good trip, shooting all the stuff for the premium magazine. Nice for the travel magazine. Yeah. Do, do you have uh, any of these works you can share with us right now in uh, your commercial work overseas? Uh yeah, overseas. Uh, let me just share you share you another screen. Sure.
Okay, so for those of you guys who are watching at home, uh, if you have any questions for Kelvin, you can just pop them into the chat boxes and we'll get on them as soon as I can, alright? So don't be shy. Feel free to ask. So, uh, this one I shot from Japan. Mm -hmm. Shot from Japan, I think the time we went Kobe. We went Kobe and Kyoto. Oh, nice. So this so, is uh, for, for a magazine? Yeah, for the mag for the magazine. Actually, I've been traveled there. I've been traveled there around two three weeks. Two weeks, just go around so create something images can let the journalism to doing the doing the content writing. Right. So this one I shot for Singapore. Shot in Singapore. Oh, the sea otter. Is yeah, the sea, sea otter they are using for the uh, travel magazine also. Mm -hmm. So this one I shot in Vietnam. Shot in, this one I shot in Japan as well. So they are using in a mag magazine too. So okay, this one also. This one they uh, shot in Japan, Kobe. There, when, actually this room, mm -hmm. uh, someone have watching the anime called Fate. Actually, this one is Tosaka, to to Tosaka Green House. The original. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. So it, it, this anime show actually has got a, a, a realistic uh, depiction of the actual place. Yeah, the actual place actually in Kobe. Nice, nice. Yeah. And your fashion stuff. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, my, my fashion stuff. My, my fashion stuff. So let's talk about the first one first. Uh, this one I shot in, I think, past two years. Mm -hmm. And the uh, Atong musician, again, built from YG Entertainment, came in Malaysia for for the for, for the concert. Mm -hmm. I've been invited for the official photographers. So I just take a shot for the artist and the whole event. So, so how, I, how how did they get to know about you and your work? Uh they have actually they have a management team uh, spoke to me before. What I want to do it, what, what I want to shot. Mm -hmm. So the photo, photo they are choosing for the uh, Korean news or Korean magazine or anything else. I see. Okay, Kaito Des on on Twitch says, uh, Kelvin, are you accepting any interns after COVID nineteen? I think he's looking <laughs> for a job. <laughs> I think I, I think I think after after MCO better. After MCO, because, yeah, yeah, you heard that Kaito nowadays, Des? Because nowadays, I think photography is not much to do now. Mm -hmm. But hopefully after MCO we will get back get get back normal soon. Right. Uh, yep. same here. I mean I think it's the same for everyone who's doing photography right now all over the world. Yeah. Yes. Uh, safety is more important than anything else right now. So we just have to make sure that once the lockdowns are over, once the virus has been fully eradicated and at least there's a vaccine and a cure, that's when we can actually go out and start taking your jobs. Yeah. Yeah? Cool. So I for my for, for my work I think every, I tried a lot, a lot of classic classifications like event, concert, weddings, um, personal portrait, personal portrait, uh, branding stuff, fashion, commercial, or anything else. I think that have different different kind of difficult. Different kind of difficulty. Like, yeah, when I doing the concert shooting, like trying, they will tell you cannot be using flash. Mm, yes. Cannot be using flash. Then they have a one they have a certain angle you can only capture. So I have to wait the timing. Keep waiting the timing, wait, waiting a stick lash uh, stick lighting or anything else. You you sound like a very busy person. How many times do you go to shoot in a week? I mean before the MCO? I think one week on five to six times. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. You're very hardworking. Yeah, but have my, I think I have to. <laughs> <laughs> it's good it's good it's good okay yeah. so yeah. um now let's talk about your latest and greatest and proudest achievement so far which one is it uh yeah this one ah why uh actually this one is my client mm -hmm. she is a model too she is yeah. the uh, brand branding owner too so when i shot this she using this one for the commercial billboard in KL area have more twenty place have this image for wow. the printing. Do you say billboard? Yeah, billboard. 
So for, for the audience at home, if you're wondering what a billboard is, if you travel down the roads of uh, Kuala Lumpur or even along the highways, you can see all those massive advertising boards. That's a billboard. So Kelvin is trying to say that this shot is now in over 20 plus billboards. Did I get it right? Yeah. Wow, that's that's amazing. All over the Malaysia, West Malaysia. Uh, in KL area. KL in area. KL area, like, um, most in the PJ and Sudan area. Oh, that's amazing. I mean, to, to see area have there. Too. Yeah. Cheers. So I think I, that one is uh, one of my uh, achievement mm -hmm. achievement for uh, have the client. I think I think it's a proof. It's a proof your stuff will be printed. It's yes. a proof. The client per client is proof you are the you, you are the photographer willing to print out the stuff that people see on this. And and I do recall me telling you was it you or was Alex? I can't recall one of those. Uh, it's either one of you guys <laughs> during my trip to KL I did say that the ultimate end game when it comes to photography is actually print so to actually have your work printed on a massive billboard I think that is that is a huge achievement altogether okay just give me a sec I don't know what happened to the screen hold on huh? yep. Kelvin hold on seems yep. like screen just died one second my, my screen just died also yeah, yeah. tell you what can we re re Restart the zoom. I think your zoom, your end, I dis you disappeared on me. <laughs> uh, I think I have to restart my computer first. Okay, I no problem. We'll wait. No problem. We'll wait for a while. Meantime, I'll just uh chat with our audience at home. Okay, uh, Kelvin, just restart your com. Uh, and I'll be here. Same uh link. Okay. Okay, guys. I think we we lost Kelvin for a bit. Uh, what's gonna happen now is that I'm gonna restart zoom. So he's still. His, his screen hang on mine so I can't exit mine either okay let me just restart there we go okay these things happen once in a while let me just get zoom up again so he can join me again I just hope that his computer did not get hit by lightning or anything like that yeah because these things do happen anyway uh, Alex says that yes uh, I saw this on one of the billboards in KL I think it's amazing when you have your work actually presented on a billboard I think that's one of the the biggest achievements, no pun intended, that you can actually have as a photographer to actually have your work in print on a massive advertising uh, channel. I think this is something big. I mean, like you can have your work printed on or on small posters, or you can have your work on Instagram, things like that. But I think nothing beats nothing beats the feeling of seeing your work on a massive billboard. I think that that's the, one of the greatest achievements ever. I think Kelvin is still restarting, so let's just wait for a while. So anyway, uh, just to give you guys an idea of how else you can support this channel. So just now, some of you guys probably heard me talk about this. But uh, right now, if you want to support the channel, you can actually go to Razor Tip Stream, all right? And uh, basically drop a donation of about $1 USD uh, for 100 shots. And that 100 shots will entitle you to some Razor Silver Points, which you can accumulate to actually redeem epic Razor loot. And I'm talking about things like headsets, mic. Uh, yeah, Razer mics, uh, Razer webcams, uh, keyboards. All right, you can even go for games and toys and and t-shirts and things like that if you want to, or even bags that they have. Uh, but otherwise, you can actually show your support by having all these uh uh tip stream. Oh, sorry, you can show the support for this channel by giving something through the tip stream and then getting rewarded by getting all this epic reason loot okay so um right now i'm just gonna wait for kelvin but uh it's okay he's he's still logging in let me see let me check nope he's still not on yet okay one second it does happen from time to time guys there's this thing called murphy's law and uh sometimes when you go for shoots and then uh sometimes you even have live stream shows like this murphy will be looking around the back and before you know it suddenly bam he'll just screw you over by <laughs> making an appearance okay Kelvin is back. Let's see. Mic test. Kelvin, can you hear me? Yes, hey, man. Mac. Welcome back. <laughs> what happened to your computer? Um, suddenly, yeah, suddenly, suddenly, the my screen black up. Oh dear. I was I was wondering whether it was mine, but I realized that mine was okay. Then your screen was kind of frozen, so I suppose that your Zoom could have crashed or yeah, something. Yeah, I, I think the screen problem. <laughs> ah, Maybe so everything okay now. Yeah, everything okay now. Okay, fantastic. Okay, <laughs> let's, let's get back to your sharing. Uh, Alright guys, we are back with Kelvin. What's this? Alex says Elsa must be nearby. Who's Elsa? Frozen. Oh god. <laughs> okay, 
no worries. Kelvin is back in the house, guys. So don't worry, everything's good to go. Yep. Alright, so Kelvin, uh, can you... Where were we just now? Uh, something along the lines of uh, your your achievement. We're talking about your works on Billboard and things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, then after that, I think the achievement is so great, your computer hang. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have asked you this question before, and especially especially now that you're a Sony Alpha Guru. Um, yep, yep. How did how do you become a Sony Alpha Guru again? Uh, I think the I think the process is quite funny. <laughs> okay, let's hear it. Uh, back to the last year, uh-huh. uh huh, 2019 January, mm-hmm. uh, my girlfriend be invited for the Sony so Sony Alpha uh, for the models. Yeah, so I just fetch fetch him fetch her to the to do, do, do her job do her model job then I just wait there so when, when I wait there when, when I wait there I have chit chat with some, someone actually I chit chat with someone so they are realized they are suddenly realized oh oh you are the you, you are the moonhawk photography I have sent the email to you last few years ago so by uh, very sad the uh, event is cancelled oh dear what was but it because of uh, COVID-19? No, 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 no. Uh, back to the last year. Oh, last uh, year. So it was something yeah. else then. Something else. Be- uh, because they want to do the... Actually do the event in uh, 2016 or 17. But sadly, when they said the event is cancelled, so they are like... Nothing, nothing much message. Mm. So after that, I met this management team. Mm-hmm. So they are just told, told me about... Told me about... Uh, they have... Send me, send me a message before. So they would want to start the new program in last year, 2019. So they are just asking, do you willing to join us to, to become a Sony Alpha Guru? So because you are using Sony so Sony product too. So I saw your I, I saw a lot of your works. So I have sent an email. So I just at the time I just just think about just do it. <laughs> <laughs> just do it because I'm I think I, for for me I have critical weakness. Because I'm very shy, actually I'm very shy, so I yeah. don't, I don't think I can speak in a public. But my public, my public speaking is not very really good, not very really good. But at the time, I just think the one thing is, if I not doing now, I'm not doing now, I'm not doing forever. So I just try to force me to do something I don't like. Mm. Just make some change. Was was it tough transitioning? Yeah. Because so, I, I, I remember when you first met me, or when we first met, you were quite reserved, quite shy, you know? Uh, yeah. You don't really speak up. I can't, I, I can barely hear your voice. But then after that, I think it was, uh, I noticed that you were Sony Alpha Guru and then you, you started talking to me about how you're running workshops and things like that. Uh, I remember we had some chats and all that. And I can see that, you know, your, your, your photos of you talking to a massive crowd. And I was like thinking, oh, that's Kelvin now. He, he changed. Wow, I'm impressed. And I'm very happy for you, really, buddy. I'm very happy for you to actually you. see that that you have outgrown that 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 fear, you know, that that public speak public speaking fear. And I and I told you before, I mean like uh just 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 do it, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just make something change because I don't want to become like that forever. Mm. Excellent. I, when I face to my client, when I face to a client and face to someone, I think I have the same same problem. So this problem have to be solved. Yes, I agree. So I agree. Just forced me to do something I don't like. <laughs> but now, now it paid off, I guess. I mean, uh, you are able to speak freely, openly to the public, um, and you have, you have tons of clients from all over Southeast Asia, even as far as Japan. I mean, I uh, definitely you have to communicate with people to get the shots in, right? Yeah. So it's a useful skill to have. So, uh, for those who are tuning in, if you're a cosplay photographer who feels a bit shy, because you know sometimes. I understand. Uh, when we when I first picked up photography, or so it was because I'd rather be behind the camera. I didn't really want to talk to people. I just want to like shoot for fun. But uh, it's a good skill to have to be able to speak to people, to be able to to hold public discourse and even speak to the public, because it really it it, it translates into your everyday skill set. You can actually go out there and talk to your clients, and it's a necessary skill to have. Okay, we cannot. Yeah, you, you cannot emphasize. Uh, sorry, you, you you cannot just escape from there. You cannot. It's just not possible. Yeah. And Kelvin, I think uh, you're you're a shining example of how you can actually fully develop yourself to overcome this kind of fear. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
So next question I want to ask you is more about gear. All right. So what's in your bag, and what kind of computer do you run? Because you 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 shot so many stuff with with special effects and things like that. Um, maybe some people will probably want to want to know what kind of computer do you run to to enable to do all these kind of crazy special effects. Well, um, actually, my computer is desktop. Mm-hmm. Nice build. Desktop like. I think my, my, my computer is quite old, quite old, like three years ago, four years ago. Oh, okay. So I have to, I have to, have, have to upgrade for the other stuff because there are no, uh, really not enough for the more jobs or more cost based stuff to come in. Mm-hmm. So I, my computer is using, I, I'm using the Alienware for the laptop. Mm-hmm. So for a laptop, for outside, I, when I'm doing some shots, uh, when I face a client or on shootings, so I just, Plug my plug my FC cable to my to, to my cameras, so they are when just go through for the computers. So my de- my desktop is uh, I think the processor is Zion, mm-hmm. Zion processors. Then the graphic card is I think one zero five zero Ti. One zero five zero Ti. So so it's it's quite an old machine oh, if I can say so. Quite old, quite old machine, but still work. Oh, that's nice. But, that's nice. And and you. And what, what software do you use? Um, mostly I'm using a uh, Capture One. Ah, yeah, Capture One. Yeah, <laughs> Capture One and Photoshop. Mm. And Cap- Photoshop. I think I most use these two. Right, right. And uh, what, what me, camera do you use? Is... Sorry? Yeah, for me, I think a Capture One is very, very good. Very, very useful. Nice. Really, really useful. Actually, it's, uh, as, as, especially it's in color. Mm. I like editor is very very crazy. Because because one one thing I want to know is what camera do you use also? Yeah, I'm using the uh, S7 R3 with 70 200 G Master. Mm-hmm. And another one is S7 R3 with 2470 G Master also. Oh, two bodies. Yeah, two bodies. Uh, this, uh, I one S7 III. I'm for using for the. Events or weddings. Mm-hmm. But basically, I will use both of the cameras doing different shots. One doing candid, one doing the actual. But the S7 R3 uh, most usually doing the product shots. Right. Yeah, product shots. Okay, yeah. so so one of the things that people always say is Sony colors are, are weird, uh, not not like Canon colors and things like that. I mean, it, it's just one of those things. Uh, but I'm not sure about you guys. I'm not sure about you because I also shoot Sony. And yeah. when I use Capture 120, some of the colors are actually the way it's supposed to be. And it's, it's, it's actually great, right? Yeah, I think for the color part, for mm-hmm. the color part of Sony, I think it's what, what you see, what you get. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, what you see, like, actually, it's quite actual. Yep. Yeah, That's it's quite actual. <laughs> but when the, when, when the image is very actual with the, with the environment colors, I think it's very easy for doing the, some color editing stuff. Yes, I agree. I agree. Okay, uh, okay so. We got someone asking some questions here. We have Yon ZZZ asked, uh, "Do you use the same camera for the billboard photo?" Yep, I'm using the the billboard photo. Actually, I shot S M R two. Oh, S M R two. Wow. Yeah, you, I, you upgraded already <laughs> since then. Yeah, I shot S M R two because I part uh, when the billboards when the billboard photos I shot is 2000, 2017. Mm. 2017. That time I still using S M R two. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so. Right now, you did mention that you're using Capture One, and recently there's a big, massive hoo ha online on social media about how the new patch has actually changed the way you look at raw editors as a whole in terms of using Capture One. Uh, have you tried the new features yet? Oh, uh, yeah, the features is very, very nice. The healing blush, the. Could, could you like share some? Like, show how you use it? So, okay, I share. Yep. Oh, you have to disable the screen first. Disabled. Yeah, the host disabled the participant. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah, by default now the zoom actually is uh more cautious. There we go. Okay. Yon ZZZ says, okay, so no medium format needed. Well, to be honest, medium format does have its place and it looks for image quality. But uh, yeah, I mean, if you're looking at billboard, sometimes you'll be if amazed. If you have can a do. medium format, then much better. Yeah, <laughs> much better. There's it's a time much- and place for it. It's much better, yeah. Yes. For uh, this image, actually, I very I like for the uh, 
So that to this one. So that to this one. So this oh. one, I just just now I doing the editing, editing stuff, so you can see the before and after. Oh, that's amazing. I, I really love the new before and after uh tool that's available yeah, inside yeah. Capture One Twenty. Yeah. So awesome. <laughs> and what I like is Capture One Twenty is the actually like Photoshop like open layers. Mm. Open is, layers, so you can see I'm um, when I doing the do, doing the effect details, mm -hmm. the details maybe the maybe the send the lighting, maybe yep. the send the shadow, so I can increase decrease. So I just using the brush in directly in the Capture One. So when I when, when I done all of this in Capture One and I put uh, put this image to Photoshop, to Photoshop, then I can do lesser. I just mm -hmm. can do with touch for face with uh liquify and anything else. Then I just can publish the photos. Uh, so what I like what I like for the capture one, uh -huh. the most best part is a color editor. Mm. It's color editor. That one is very, very crazy. So but right, that especially it's an advanced mode. Mm -hmm. Advanced mode when I when I'm using this to pick any color, then I just only can um, color grade the part of the color. So the color is a very, very 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 strong. And another thing is that the show the, the show the selecting ah. the selecting color range. Yep. So I can very very accurate for doing the for doing the editing. So you can isolate the particular color that you want to change, right? Yep, yep, yep. Excellent. So I can just maybe just the face color, maybe just face lighting face like thing I want I want to change or something so I don't want to affect the other other colors too have you tried the new uh healing and clone tools yet yep what what do you think of those it's very very good very very good like just like doing a photoshop man like doing a photoshop and, so and I, the best part I, is you're still working on a raw file you're not even yeah you're still working in the raw file not compressed to the jetpack yeah that's that's crazy so like this healing so now welcome to kelvin wong's uh online workshop i'm just hosting him and we're watching him do a live tutorial on how to use capture one <laughs> so the healing brush is very very very, very impressive mm -hmm. Check your flow, I think. Yep. Yeah, your opacity is 55. <laughs> you can see the ghost ship. Yeah. So if you push the opacity 100%, you can actually remove the ship totally. And it's just suddenly oh, gone. crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> it's like magic, isn't it? Like you're saving a, a lot of time. Yep. You're saving a lot, a lot of time. The clone, the, the clone, the behind the stuff. And you can do uh, an unlimited number of uh, cloning and healing on the single yeah. layer. Just no need to wait. So as a commercial photographer or even as a cosplay photographer, do you find that this is a very huge boost to your workflow in terms of speed? Yeah, more faster. More faster, yeah? More fast yeah, more faster when I deliver the work. Maybe so that I shot the shot shot the clients. Shot one clients they are one to doing the uh, branding photos. But they are want to do it want, want the result tomorrow. But I using this one I can just deliver. Yeah. After 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 one hour or two hours I can deliver all the stuff. Oh that's fast. After one hour, two hours you're done. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> cool. So okay, it's very, very accurate. For a clone, for, for a healing clone. Mm -hmm. So that doesn't 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 affect other 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 like clone too much. Sometimes you're using the Photoshop when you're using the stem, right? The stem they will too much clone too much or too less. Yeah. But this one is like intelligent that just when when you just step when you just when you just step they're just gone. Just nice. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, so when you first transition over to being a commercial photographer, do you have any difficulty at first? Mm, for my difficult part, mm. at the first, not much connections. 
not much. Sorry, not much connection at the time. Oh, because I just I, when I when I when, when I after my magazine, I come out to do my own as a freelance. Then I will open my own company. Like you need actually you need a, a lot of production. But at the time, I didn't have, so I just slowly build up. Then I quite suffer. Mm. So who was your first networking connection that led you into the bigger world? Yeah, the billboard clients. Billboard. Billboard. Yeah, I I know I I know her I know her when I come out, become the freelance and become a freelance and company employee. Did Did you have any connections from your cosplay community that gave you jobs? Um, uh, I think they helped me, but not much. Mm. Like maybe some friends they are doing that. They, they, maybe they are directive want to doing the weddings, so they are they ask me ask me giving quotations. That's good. Maybe someday when your friends who are in the cosplay community are, are you know, uh, getting married, they can still call you up as a as a wedding photographer, because you yeah. do wedding photography as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, usually I doing doing a lot of stuff. Mm. <laughs> doing doing all kinds of stuff. All so, kinds of stuff. <laughs> and a big thank you to Cupcake Image also. Mm. Why is that? Uh, because they help me a lot. Mm. And I'm back to back back to five years ago, two thousand fifteen, two thousand fourteen. Yeah. Just saw me as a little little boy. Ah, they saw me a little boy. That because of them, because because of them, they are intro me to the production house and the magazine company also. Nice. Um, the name of the lady is uh sorry the guy is a uh, Wayne right? Ah, uh, Wayne. Wayne, Wayne yeah. and uh, Aya Aya. The Wayne and Isabel. Isabel. <laughs> yeah, Isabel. Ah. Actually, they are helping me a lot also. Oh, so they are, they are they are like my big sister and big brother. Ah, oh, wow. <laughs> That's that's amazing. I mean, like, uh, this these are the kind of people who who really will go all out to support you, and and I guess without them, it'll be a bit harder for you guys for for you to actually step out into the commercial world, right? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So, how about your family? Were they supportive of your decision to go into into commercial photography? Because uh, we do hear stories of where people going over into freelance photography or or commercial photography and things like that. Um, some family members feel that it's not a stable job, wouldn't have stable income, and things like that. Do, do you encounter any of these difficulties? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So tell tell us more about what happened and how you convince them that this is all okay. Yeah, my family is quite traditional. Mm-hmm. Actually, quite traditional. They are think photographers uh, and image consultant or photographers is not a stable job. Mm. Not a stable job. Not support supportive in. Started, but now it's still now it's still fine. Ah. After you after you get something with the with proof, they are, I think they will they are, they are fine. How how long did it take to to agree with your with your career choice? Uh, almost half years, half years to one years. Because wow. I join a lot of a lot of committees, try to doing a lot of, a lot of jobs. Mm-hmm. So, okay, looking more around, just maybe you. Have, Try to get every opportunities. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Positive. Yeah, get your opportunity in your in in, in your relative. Maybe your relative, maybe your friends. Just get it. Why not, right? Any any opportunity that comes my your way could actually add on to your portfolio after all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so just now when you shared your cosplay shoots uh, or even your commercial work, some of the sets actually look very elaborate. Could you could you share with us how do you plan your setups? Like how many days? What goes into the the ideas, the ideation part, the conceptualizing part? Uh, any behind the scenes? If you have, you could share with us. So it's more difficult photo shoot. I think probably is this one. Mm-hmm. This one, this photo shoot I shot on the two thousand seventeen also. Mm-hmm. Two thousand seventeen also. So this photo shoot I we already planned one year. Plan in one day, one year, one year. Oh, one year! Wow, <laughs> that's amazing. We planning one year, and this cos- cosplay is my friend. Mm-hmm. Just spoke to me. Uh, do you want to do something photo shoot in these characters? In this character, I just think about. I just told. I just suddenly told them. Mm, do you guys want to shoot outside, outside KL? Just planning, like have one journey to adventure to other places. <laughs> So we plan after we plan one year, we found one place in Tenangalu. Uh, tra- KL traveled there around four hundred km, uh, four to five hours something to reach there. 
So after that, we decide the place there. We book Airbnb. We book we, we book Airbnb. Then we travel two cars with helpers. Mm-hmm. Alex there too. Alex travel me, with me too. So when we arrive there, when we arrive there, I we get a uh, one very very critical message, very bad message there. What what was it? What happened? Uh, we found the locations. Actually, the location is private area. So we oh, cannot no. we cannot do any shooting at the private area. Oh, so we did, we, we didn't know that. What, what was it like a fence or anything like that, or it was just an open area? And that's why you you probably assumed that this was a public space. Yeah, suddenly they have a guard house there. <laughs> suddenly they have a guard house. Yeah, yeah. After <laughs> my my friend told me about about this guard house after uh, before two years ago, they didn't have any guard house there. Ah, okay. Yeah, they are. They are built the resort inside. <laughs> okay, they so building it's... a resort inside. So ah, okay. So we cannot use the we cannot use the uh, use the private area. So when we get this message, it is around ten p.m. night. Oh man! But we tomorrow have to still doing the do, doing the shots, doing the shooting. Yep. So we just looking for the Google, but looking for Google have any suitable place. So and we just let the model go back the Airbnb restless. So we travel with my friend and Alex too, to because in the Donggalu area there, are many places is entire dark, mm-hmm. entire dark. Not much, not, not much city lighting there. All right. Because they you facing total darkness. Place. Yeah, total darkness. So when we found this place is around twelve a.m. midnight. Twelve a.m. midnight. So actually the place like this one. So we just check the Google weather. Google weather. Ah,、uh, where's the sunrise coming out?、Mm-hmm. So actually this one is a Kian. It's a Kian.、Oh. After after we saw this, after we saw this one, ah,、uh, we think tomorrow we can climb out the Kian to doing this shot. Oh man. So when we back when 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 we found this place, we go back to Airbnb around already. Twelve thirty a.m. or something, so we just、uh, <laughs> take a rest. So, but when three a.m., I wake up first. I just sleep. I just sleep one hours. So I just bring my mother, bring bring my mother up to doing doing the makeup because we will have to rush the sunrise. Rush the sunrise. After that, we travel there. Five a.m. We wait there to the sunrise come up. How 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 do you do all this in the total darkness? Was it very challenging? No, it's very challenging. Actually, quite dangerous. <laughs> okay, quick question: between this working in total darkness to get a the location and shooting underwater, which one's tougher? Uh, this one's tougher. Tougher, more tougher than underwater because underwater the location is ready, everything is ready. Yeah, this one is so, you don't know whether it's gonna be there or not. Yeah, for for me it's a. What I learned in this photo shoot is always have plan B. They have、mm. always have plan B. Yes. You think to facing、uh, the situation the sudden happen, and have to bring more sub supplement there, like water, <laughs> like like water, like food. You have to bring every every things. Yes. Because, like because the place is very 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 extreme, extremely hot, extreme extremely hot. The the night time extremely cold. I can't imagine the kind of pain you went through, man. It's crazy. I have、uh, the behind the scene, the the area. I have to found the some some. Okay, Alex is saying that it was a fun adventure. <laughs> I definitely is what was, was a fun adventure. Oh man, Zig was saying that it's interesting. Yeah, because I think I think for us Singaporean photographers, especially, we don't really have this kind of locations. I mean, we probably do, but it's very hard to access. Um. But Malaysia has got so many nooks and crannies all over, that that it just takes a little bit of extra guts to find these kind of locations and do the shoots and come up with unique images like this. I think、uh, the kind of effort and suffering that you put yourself through just to get a shot that's that's that says a lot. I share another screen. I have the photos there. Sure. Yeah, this one is, is the place. Oh wow! This one is the place that. And、uh, oh, there's a cat. 
It's the cat or cat there. It's, it's quite cat. annoying cat because they're both. <laughs> this cat is follow the entire ship. The whole right. entire ship follow us. And and the uh, okay, crew is why. like one, two, three, four, five, five crew, including yourself, and one model, and one cat. <laughs> uh, uh, Alex will capture this image for me. <laughs> yeah. So plus yourself, so six altogether. Yeah. It's, okay, interesting. It's and, very fun adventure, by the way. And the sky is cloudy. I mean, like uh, it was overcast. Would, would yeah, you... it's, uh, it's cloudy. Uh, this this timing is uh, around seven thirty to me. Were you, were you worried that you know after all the effort, then suddenly it starts to rain heavily? What would you have done? Nah, yeah, definitely we worry about that. Mm. But if it rains heavily, would you have stopped the shoot, or would you have considered you know changing the concept and still proceeding? Uh, like, I think we're we'll changing the concept. Changing concept. Maybe right? wait, wait two hours after after the rain. After the rain, maybe the maybe the style is not really very pretty, but we try to change another thing. Right. At the time, at, at the time, we just only have the five minutes. For the sunrise, Five minutes. because the sunrise will come very very fast. So this kind of shoot sunrise sunset. I mean, like uh, it's all about fighting against time, trying to get the sun and capture it as much as possible during that, that small uh, window. Like, like every moment you have to, like every moment you have getting standby, standby for the every every moment. Hmm. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> because, because we we think about we already travel very far. Mm-hmm. Travel more than four hundred km, so we cannot take nothing go back. We have to get get something. Of course, already. If not, all the traveling, all the effort is for nothing. Yeah, it's it's wasted. Mm. So for your works, I mean, like for both commercial and cosplay, how much post processing do you put into your work? Actually, for me, it's not much. I'm more, I'm more concerned about is the planning. Mm. For the planning uh, idea, I will doing a post post uh, post editing, post post process for that. But I think it's not much. Maybe ten to fifteen percent. Mm. Maybe ten to fifteen percent. So when you you shoot, you actually try to get as much as you can inside the shot, so that at the end of the day, the post processing is very minimal. So the turnaround time is a lot faster, I suppose. Now, I think if you're doing well, do doing doing well, your editing is not no no need to too much. Hmm. I agree. I agree. All right. Uh, okay. So for those people at home, if you're watching right now, you have any questions for Kelvin or even myself, more for Kelvin, of course, because he's our guest speaker tonight. Uh, feel free to just pop them in in the chat box, and I'll try to uh, relay them over to Kelvin. Okay. So I still got a couple more questions to go for for Kelvin in the hot seat. Um, your most favorite lighting setup? Go. My most. Okay. I think I show the image. Okay. More easy to pronounce. <laughs> okay, sure. They are not not really stick out too much. Mm. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. I what what I like is the what I like is the lighting style is behind have have back light have key light. Mm. But I don't want to show too much the light bulb. I don't want to show the light bulb in the behind. So I want to uh, create something like some something like grooming. The light is grooming. Ah, I see. So so you just get the, a little bit of the flare, nothing much. Yeah. 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 Not, nothing to do with the, the the actual flash itself. Yeah. Because uh, this I is quite interesting. The, yeah. Because yeah, uh, light and something and, and something hard light in the in the some um, in the some. Um, ah. Yes. Maybe 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 the hand maybe the some um, armor. Mm-hmm. To get the texture. Armor. Yeah. So easy to catch up the texture come up to mm. pop up. Which is I, I which is like, very I, interesting. I don't like shot yeah. too flat. Yes, yes. Uh, this, this, this is the thing I, I, I realized about your cosplay shoots because um, more often than not, when I look at some cosplay works out there, they tend to go for very soft light or diffuse light. Everything looks very flat and dull. Um, you don't really see much much texture. Um, like, for example, you were saying something about the armor and the cloth just now. You, you just want to see the texture pop out even more, right? So you actually yeah. use hard light. So it, it's quite interesting to also note that when you create this image, you also have a backdrop um, there's black in color and then you still want to bring out the, the, the details in the water droplets so you actually have flash in the back but your flash is hidden you don't see them in the shot or you crop them out or something like that but some people they like to you know leave the flash inside I, I, I don't quite understand that <laughs> but you, you, you actually really you know keep it to the point where it's, it's, it's part of the atmosphere rather than 
you can see that it's, it's an intentional, I don't know, uh, part of the, 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 the shot where it shouldn't be. Because it's not natural to see a flash in the back. Yeah, every time I'm doing the photo shoot, I want to try to make something like movie. Mm -hmm. Because I like to watch movie a lot. Because the, the movie taking the like things is very, very awesome. So I try to maybe copy. Maybe a copy, maybe been inspired some movie, try to try the like things in my cosplay shoot as well. All right. So it's a very cinematic style. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. And that, so that water splash, one. sorry, the, the water splash, you, I guess you use uh, some kind of like a bucket or something? Yeah, I'm using a bucket and I'm using a shower head. <laughs> I'm using a two shower head to make the, make, make the light rainy. Alright, alright. Two shower light head. Rainy. Uh, I don't know, I, I don't know you know about the one Hong Kong movie called uh, Hong Wan. Hong Wan? Yeah, the... Very very old manga from Hong Kong, but they have, have a light action. Mm -hmm. Not familiar. Uh, sorry, I have to find out. I have to find out the English name. I'm not like, because I just realized the Cantonese name. <laughs> I see. Uh, Alex Chrysler says Kelvin is a waterbender, <laughs> <laughs> and Zig says this is super, and I agree. It's it's really superb. I mean, like uh, there's so much going on here. It's a lot of motion and movement, and it still feels fluid. Awesome. So the name is actually it's a it's a Hong Kong Hong, Hong Kong manga Hong Kong manga like twenty or thirty years ago, right? Oh, the the movie called Feng Yun. <laughs> Feng, oh Feng, is it the Condor Heroes? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right. Feng Yun. Okay, okay. I I know I know that one. Inspired, I mean, this job actually is inspired <laughs> for the second season. Ah, is it? Is this the one with the Yong Kuo and uh, Xiao Long Yi? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, wow, not bad, I know. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> it, it, it just popped in my head. I can't remember how I know it about it also. Uh, pretty cool. Then, uh, okay, let's look at the number 14. You have the sword with the yellow light lightsaber. Uh, saber. <laughs> oh, literally, saber. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> yeah, it's a saber. Actually, it's my favorite character also. Ah, I see, I see. It's yeah. my favorite character also. We shot this in uh, Studio 14. Mm -hmm. So the fourteen, uh, the place actually is quite tight. Uh, I have to create the one and atmosphere like because he, uh, Saber is a king, King Arthur. Mm -hmm. So I like want to create something in atmosphere like he holding like hold, holding the holding the sword become a god. Right. He, he become a, become the king Arthur. Wait, um, her name is not Saber. It's something Penal Pendragon. Yeah, Pendragon. Pendragon is it? Or Pendragon. Pendragon. Uh, King Arthur. Oh, so it's pronounced <laughs> as Pen Dragon. I've been calling Pen Dragon all this time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, Arthuria Pen Dragon. Yeah. So that's that's the name of the the, the character. Because I, I remember there was this big uh, hoo ha on the internet where people say that's not her name. It's not Saber. I was like, <laughs> Saber. Yeah. So yeah, Arturia Pendragon. That's what Helsinki said on Twitch. Thank you so much for that uh, clarification. So at least now I know the name of the character. Cool. Uh, right, so in terms of uh, photography workshops, you also shared that you actually run photography workshops for Sony. Uh, you also run your own exhibitions and things like that. Uh, could you just share with us challenges that you have faced? Um, most challenges in camera shine, actually. Camera shy? Um, is it? Is it because you need to be in front of the camera or? I have to. Oh, okay. I have to. And I have to facing a lot of crowd. Then, uh, just just now I mentioned uh, this one is my weakness. Mm. Weakness part. So I tried a lot of effort to my graphics thinking. Yeah. And for my for for my part, I think I have to deliver a very uh, great content. Very good content to the audience because I don't want they are wasting their time, uh, wasting their time come to listen all the all the things not not useful. Yeah. So so when you come up with the content, do you get uh, uh what do you call it the uh, people to go through the the stuff with you? I mean like maybe someone who's co-organizing the event with you, or do you just go through it yourself and then you know, think that this is suitable and then decide to like just 
you know, share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we have planning. Ah, okay, good. good. Yeah, we, have, we have planning. They have a meeting. Yeah, like before, before, before the before the workshop start, mm-hmm. so we have a meeting. What content we have to talk about? So there's a bit of curation to ensure yeah. quality. That's good. That's good. Okay, so um, when when you actually run all these workshops and you have you have uh attendees coming in and all that. Do you worry that other people might copy your techniques in terms of setting out lights, in terms of uh, shooting photography, conceptualizing, and even things down to the processing and things like that? Do you worry that people might copy you for all those? Mm, for me, I don't don't really mind that. You, for me, I don't, that. don't really mind that. Don't really mind that because if have because for me, my perspective is if have people to try to copy your style, maybe copy your shooting style, maybe color tone, mm-hmm. that means you success. Ah, that's a good way of looking at it. Yeah, that means that, that means you success because your stuff is have uh, have people to get around. Yes. Try to try to do something like you. Yeah. Like when I started, when, when I started to learn like some someone else, he started like try to copy other speakers then become yourself. Yeah. So do you find that originality is kind of dead now? <laughs> <laughs> I I guess I guess when it comes to originality in uh, in some sense, uh, most works are now a derivative of one another, and it's just a copy of a copy of a copy. But uh, I, you know, it, this is my my take on it. At the end of the day, you just make sure that you come up with something that is you that speaks your voice, right? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't don't just copy other people's work wholesale, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. This one I want to share is that. Like like you say, don't want to keep copy people's stuff. Then maybe you have to try looking for some advantage mm-hmm. for you yourself. Yeah, just if just copy and never end. Just you just copy when the yeah. when the ideas when the idea you know, idea will drain. We drain. Maybe you're looking at some new ideas. You copy another people, but like you doesn't learn doesn't learning when you a copy you're learning too. Mm. And I guess I guess if you were to copy someone and you want to make it your own, you must make sure that whatever you've done is better than the original. Yeah. <laughs> you cannot copy someone's work and then you know the work is not as good as the original. Wow, then you need to find a hole somewhere and hide yourself already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um for contents like uh workshops and things like that, do you find it very difficult to create content for this? Uh yep. Uh like this like the one workshop we just talk about lighting maybe talk about lighting maybe just talk about the camera setup we have some we have sometimes uh, a lot of the audience they actually don't know how to function the cameras uh sorry kelvin you gotta speak up a bit louder it's a bit soft yeah. uh, some, sometimes the contest i have to set about the more people have to know that because sometimes uh, the workshops not everyone know how to use the cameras yeah and that, yeah, that so could be a problem <laughs> yeah, the step more easier and easier to so let people know, know, know easily. Right, and and when COVID nineteen actually happened, uh, do you actually have plan to do online workshops or things like that? I mean, I mean I've seen you post up a, a video of how to shoot, uh, what do you call that, uh, with natural light products with natural light. But do you intend to have like a online workshop where people can come in and watch and things like that if MCO persists? Mm, I. I have done last few weeks ago. Uh, it's only in my third also. Yeah, I want to do the one online sharings mm-hmm. during MCO. Have to do something fun. Yeah, something fun. even you went home. When you went home, you also can do it some stuff. I can show you here. Yeah. So yeah, this one. Oh, nice. This one I shot. I, I shot in my home, in my in my room. Then the setup is actually is very very simple. Just Malila Ah. Just Marilla cut and Marilla cut and one reflector. So the Marilla cut just uses uh you just use it as a as a backdrop. Like yeah. A mini sakurama of sorts. Yeah. And because the because, a... because the because the is very tiny. Mm, mm. It's very tiny. So at the at the timing, I just try to do something like to try to do something training. Even at home, even at home, you have a opportunity to opportunity to create some things. And you can see there's a few variations of uh, what you shot with the same product. Yeah. Like this one, I using the, I I using the mirror to reflect the lighting, reflect the hard light just direct to the platform. Yep. 
and this one I tried uh, using some props because I'm actually shooting a lot of products, so I keep any props in my home. Mm -hmm. So maybe I do something that do some do something that go like the poster. Right. And this one I just using the shadow, using the uh, window shadow, using window shadow to create to create a line. So, so this one is a quite fun part. I'm using the water. Mm -hmm. I just using the water. Put put the water inside the water, mm -hmm. so you can see the booming booming effect. Mm. Really, if I put two bottle beside be, be, beside the beside the perfume, just using the light reflect reflect the bottle come out of the come out of the shadow and light. Ah, so so you actually have uh like a reflection reflection of light across yeah, yeah. the screen. Ah, yeah, and this is a yeah. flatly. Actually, right? it's quite fun. Actually, it's quite fun. Mm -hmm. I'm exploring something. And and how was the reception for this uh this uh online tutorial? Did the people like it? Did they share it? That kind of thing? Did they try it? Uh, I have some people comments that, are, that they say that they will try it mm -hmm. at home. Maybe they are, have some comments is asking something. Not only perfume, maybe others, other stuff can do this as well. Ah. I just reply, I just reply everything. Maybe you have a video, maybe you have a mode, uh, maybe you have the gum, 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 gum or something you can do. Just, just experiment with whatever you have at home. Yeah, yeah just play fun. That's just good. Yeah. That's good. Okay. So you have had your works shared in magazines and exhibitions as well. How how did that all happen? Okay. Actually the actually the exhibition I have a uh, collaborate with a pavilion that have art gallery there. Mm -hmm. Actually I have collaborate that will doing the exhibition actually in the, this June. But still this MCO I think they will postpone. Yeah. They will postpone Further and further, but they are definitely have a print. This event collaboration with Sony also. Mm -hmm. So I found this opportunity because I knew some I I, I know one uh a gallery owner. A gallery owner they are because they have rebranded uh, one business group also. Yeah. So when we get each other knowing each other, so the owner just say how about we just doing one exhibition, mm -hmm. showcase your stuff, printing your stuff outside. Like in my some in my some entrepreneur to teach entrepreneur how to taking some shot using using maybe using phone maybe using camera right. let them know how let them know how how phone and cameras difference. Then so, uh, when 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 this actually happens, do they do they uh let's say for example if MCU is over, um do they come prepared with their own equipment or do you, do you provide equipment for them? Uh, I've been using the equipment myself also, mm -hmm. so they will pre they they will doing their part. They will prepare the all the prints, all the uh, prints and find sponsors. Right. So that means uh, the 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 the, the co organizer will handle everything else. You just come prepared with your own gear and yeah, let 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 the participants try out with with the co organizer's gear. I suppose. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. Otherwise, your gear will be quite jealous. <laughs> 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 okay. So normally, how big do these workshops go? Like, how many people would turn up, uh, and how's the response like from the public? Uh, the most, the, the most more people in the last year, I think the, I, I think the, in the Damansara area, mm -hmm. the cafe, that time it was around sixteen or seventeen people, seven seventy people come come in. It's quite a lot. We just have uh, some 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 audience is walk in. They didn't register. They didn't register. So just walk in. Just walk in. Yeah. Wow. So so this um uh, sort of like an exhibition slash uh photography workshops, I suppose. Yeah. Ah okay. So it dra draws all kind of crowd, I suppose. Okay. Uh, let's look at the chat box and see who else has said some stuff. Uh, Suyi Tan on Facebook says nice photo. I, I I can't recall which one she's looking at, but uh maybe it's my another partner. Oh, also. another partner. <laughs> <laughs> I see. She's Welcome to the she's channel. Copywriting. Oh, she's in charge of copywriting. Excellent. Yeah, copywriter, yeah. So, how many partners do you actually have in your team? I have two partners. So one is uh Suyi and the other one is Amos. Uh, Ing Sing, Ing Sing. Oh, sorry, Ing Ing Sing. Yeah, Amos yeah, is uh, another guy. Sorry about that. Yeah. Cool, cool. Is it important to actually work with uh partners, or is do you think it's it's okay to just work alone in the world of commercial photography? 
I think it's a collaborate with a partner. If you have a partner, it's more better. Of course. Because one, uh, one person cannot do everything. Yep. Yep. Cannot do everything. I, I have to separate all the all, all the different different positions. I just have to uh, focus my positions. Then get the get the job done. Get the job work. Do you, do you find it easier now that you can delegate the work, you know, the workload yeah. to your partners instead of just handling everything on your own and just focus on photography? Yeah. Because like if, if you have a producer, well, if you have a producer, then yeah. you have a producer, you have to do the all management, management stuff. Maybe the clients there, they will handle the clients part. So I can focus to do my photography works. Yeah. Much easier than... More, yeah, much easier. Much but, easier. Okay. okay. I, think, I think the photography of photography people cannot work alone forever. Can't, yeah, can't. It's impossible. Especially when your jobs are getting bigger and bigger. Um, in my opinion, having professional assistants as well as uh, producers will actually allay a lot of fears and concerns that you might have for the shoot because your job is really just to take the photos. Not not to think about all the extra things like handing the client, you know, uh, that, all that kind of things can can take a back seat if you actually have a producer on set who's very yeah. good at what she or he or she does, right? Okay, so life-wise, what has changed since COVID-19 apart from your workshops being cancelled and things like that because of MCO? Mm, not much work now. The more impacted, more impacted the photography. I think not only me, there's everyone being impacted. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it's good. It's good way. It, it's good way. You have to you have more time to explore more more stuff. Maybe you can learn something tutorials. You can watch a lot of tutorials to learn yourself. Maybe you can reading a books. Mm. Reading a book. Try to explore something. So so in your case, you've been doing all this to to you know not say kill the time, but to make full use of your time. Since you're you're stuck at home, you can't do shoots and all that. You just practice, read up. Uh, learn new skills uh, by watching tutorials, I suppose. Yeah, I think because the uh, photography world, maybe the maybe the artist world is keep changing. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you have to keep have to stack in the have, have to stack up, have to keep follow follow up for the new trend. Yep, yep. Yes, we no idea. We no idea tomorrow something get viral. Maybe maybe other things get viral. We have no ideas. Oh, touch wood, man. <laughs> <laughs> This COVID nineteen is so bad, you know? We we don't want an extension by, by another virus also. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, it, it's good to hear that someone, uh, like yourself, you know, even though there's the that 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 shoots have been cancelled, workshops have been cancelled or postponed, you're still doing something to keep on your, to sort of like keep your 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 skill level up, or even your your learning, you know, keep on learning to to keep your skill level up rather. And, and the fact that you didn't just, you know, while the time away and do nothing, you know, some of us, uh, I would say, some of us actually felt that there's no hope, you know. Some photographers would be like, oh, totally give up, sell the camera away, can't do anything, you know. Some of us uh, do things like change career or start looking for other jobs because they feel that once COVID-19 is over, they can never go back to photography again. Um, some of us are, you know, nothing better to do, start live streaming. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But but at the end of the day, I think what's most important is that you actually do something valuable for your skill set that that doesn't seem to waste your time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very yeah. good. That's very good. Okay, so um, you also shared, you know, you've done online tutorials with Sony, sharing your knowledge, uh, doing shoots at home, things like this. Uh, and I find that these are all workaround solutions for other photographers. You know, if, if they really take into account that they can still do production at home, business yeah. case, business can still go on, right? Yeah, actually still go on. Uh, we have uh, some clients that have been asking. Mm -hmm. uh, we just giving advice for, advice to them to send the products to our home. Yeah. We just do the shoot in our home. And right now, um, I, I understand that the PK, PKP has kind of been uh, lifted in phases or, or, yeah. or I'll say maybe a, a few stages, right? And uh, although it's en uh, encouraged that you should stay at home and this has been extended out to 9th of June, if I'm not wrong. Um, yeah, June. Yeah. yeah, but the businesses are still allowed to go and shoot because I noticed that some photographers are already going out there to shoot, you know, in, in studios and things like that. Um, do you have any plans to shoot in the studio anytime soon? Yeah, yeah, actually I have. 
during the during the, the the PKP stage. Yeah. But uh, the, you probably have to take precautions, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's a uh, one important things if you do privately, if mm-hmm. you if you do privately to one to one, I think it's nothing nothing dangerous. Nothing dangerous. Uh, make sure make sure everyone is safe. But I think it's every crisis that they are sure they are no that they are no what they are one. Yeah. I think the most important yeah. is uh you all take precautions, right? Yeah. Uh, we, we're giving the advice now. Of mm. course we're giving advice. So you still have uh, to but, put on yeah. face yeah. masks and all that? <laughs> no. Not not the model, <laughs> but the photographer <laughs> and the crew, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, you you'll be doing your, your shoot in the studio, just just stay safe, buddy. Okay, yeah. so um some some plans that that have been shelved because of COVID-19, do you plan to revisit them after COVID-19 is lifted or rather COVID-19 is over? Yeah, of course. Mm. Of course. So could, you, could, could you share some of the plans that you have? Mm. My plan is, uh, first thing first thing I have to collaborate with the client first. Mm. The first thing. Because I quite close with my clients and different clients are quite close. So just have a dinner, see what's the plan is going on. Mm. I think. Yes, I one money is kept. Uh, the, I think the relation have to catch up, have to follow up. Ah, so you you actually put relationship with clientele first before actually doing the work. This yeah. actually creates a, a, I would say, a more closer connection with your clients. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Because not not many of us actually do things like this. You go the extra mile to get to know your clients better. This this is very respectable. It's very very cool. Yeah. Yes. Uh, one one the clients know me more. Maybe more, maybe, maybe I try, uh, just try people, uh, treat people good mm-hmm. and maybe treat you good also. I agree, I agree. Okay, so, apparently, COVID-19 is here, <laughs> here for quite some time now. Let's, let's look at the possibilities, okay? Let's look at positive side of life right now. What's a dream plan and gear? My dream plan and gear, um, a bone color light thing, I think. <laughs> Awesome. One color I think in a dream gear. When when are you gonna go for it, man? Um I'm not sure. I'm I'm not sure. This this one is really not sure about this. Take your time, uh, Take your time. This, uh, this, this is my dream gear. That maybe maybe future have a have a chance I can have a one medium for my camera mm, for the better good. quality better quality image. Which which particular brand are you looking at? Hasselblad, phase one, Fujifilm? Yeah, we'll go for the Maybe I will go for the face one or Fuji film. Wow, very big difference though. Fuji film and face one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One is a one, one is a like comp sensor. One is a full frame size. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Correct, correct. At least you know the difference because some some people don't. They just go like, oh, medium format. Oh, I want some medium format. <laughs> it's the same thing. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, it's medium The the one is Fuji. Fuji is a medium format, but it's a comp sensor size. Yes, yes, it is. And um, uh, face one is a uh, six four five. Yeah, yeah, six four five. Like film camera, film mm. camera size. So so that will be our ultimate goal, having brown color lights as well as uh maybe a face. Yeah, that's one is my ultimate goal. Oh, slowly, slowly, you get there. It took me a while to get this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, trust trust me, it's worth it. But uh, take your time. Uh, for myself, I took about three years to to actually pull the trigger on on my first brown color lights. Yeah, eventually. Yeah, I think, actually, actually, before the MCO, I have received some received a one actually a one faction job. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But now it's I think it's pending. It's pending. Maybe cancel. Oh dear. At the time, I already planning to the uh, to rent the medium format and camera for the for for the job. Which which one? Phase one or medium format? Uh, Fuji. It's phase one. Phase one. Phase one. Oh okay. If you uh, need rent, a... rent, rent, rent a camera, rent, rent a phase one camera and one color doing doing the fashion shop. If you need a tech assistant who knows both gear, call me. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> Cause, uh, cause I'm certified to handle phase one cameras. Yeah, probably now is now the job. Actually, is, I think is pending of cancer. Maybe after the MCO, we try to follow up. Ah, just kidding, just kidding. But if you are serious, <laughs> just call me. <laughs> <laughs> no problem for you, buddy. I'll give you good price. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm gonna ask you something that's a little bit uh beyond ourselves as photographers. I'm looking at the whole industry. All right, um. What do you hope to see change in cosplay photography and commercial photography? Um, 
what is the chance of cosplay photographer um, to commercial? Uh? Yeah, no, no. Let, let's start with cosplay photographers. What kind of change do you hope to see in cosplay photography? Hmm. Maybe the more value. I think more value. More. Yeah, like people see it's not only cosplay. Yeah, they become like, have this this image. Maybe this this cosplayer. Maybe this image have the value that like commercial area. How 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 do you mean by attaching value? Do you talk about? Sales of the picture, or I think as uh the sales of picture maybe the advertising can mm-hmm. okay of from cosplay photographers to do, doing the shoot also yeah maybe be related related for the cosplay actually in China is a lot of people doing that oh really yeah you mean actually in China it's a lot a lot of people doing that yeah t- turning cosplay yeah. photography into a a business yeah it actually it's commercialized ah. Uh, why, in, why, why is it not like that in Malaysia? Uh, because of my friends, some of my friends are sharing sharing this story to me. In China, in China and Japan, they are actually is commercialized. There are no one to book for free. Hmm, interesting. If you if you're looking for the uh, cosplay for the waffle in Japan, maybe Japan and China, they are still they still have to pay. Right. Yeah. Com- commercial Maybe's rates. Not. Yeah, commercial rate. Wow. It, it depends how much how how much uh how 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 much photo you have. Mm-hmm. Maybe probably six or seven, I think. And uh, for Malaysia, it's 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 free. Uh, I think I, I think now is maybe start changing. Oh, really? Yeah, start start changing in maybe between Singapore and Malaysia. Maybe they start going to commercial com- commercialized. Because I, I quite recall last time, you know, there's there's some photographers who want to do commercial work, uh, or rather, charge commercial rates for cosplayers to to be shot, and there were a lot of pushbacks. A lot of people disagreeing and saying that this is just a hobby; you should not be charging money and things like that. And there's a lot of uh, arguments in mind. I think I have different work way. Maybe you collaboration with cosplayer, and then maybe in collaboration with cosplayer. Maybe cosplayer they are doing their printing. Maybe they are doing the patron. They're still st- selling stuff. Maybe just um, like commission sharing. Mm. Or maybe the the customers can just buy the photos of the photographers, and then after that, you know, one shot deal. They can do whatever you want with it. The yeah, maybe it runs for commission, com- commission, com- commission program. Mm. Or maybe, 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 just maybe. One of the yeah, other ways you can do is uh to collaborate with the cosplayer, and find a client. Who appreciates the photos and do something magnificent and epic, and it's like a one-off thing, and then after that, charge the client accordingly, and everybody benefits from it. Yeah, that that, that could be a possibility as well. Yeah, this is yeah. possible. Maybe possible. <laughs> okay, how about the commercial industry? How about uh, what the kind of changes that you want to see in the commercial photography industry? Don't throw price. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a worldwide phenomenon. Uh. Troll price. Okay, yeah. For those of you guys are wondering what is troll price, basically people uh, undercutting one another. You know, like today, Kelvin is charging $50. Then I come in and go like, eh, I charge you $45 only. Then Kelvin goes, eh, hey, wow, $45. Uh, okay, I charge you $35. Best price. And then he goes lower and lower. And then nobody wins, right? I think that, that that's a big problem that uh, uh, the photography industry as a whole community needs to address and, and try to work towards a, a resolution because if this keeps up the only people who are winning will be the clients you know you they, yeah. they are able to save so much and get the same quality I don't know if quality lah, but you know assuming it's the same quality um, but you guys are not win- earning enough and then everybody just suffers together that's that's not a good thing yeah when you throw price when you throw price everyone suffers yeah exactly exactly okay so uh, lastly any advice to cosplayers who work with cosplay photographers? Mm, any advice? Uh, for me, is doing more homework. More homework? Doing more reference. Oh, okay. I, th- I, th- I thought for a moment you say go and finish out your homework before you go out and shoot. <laughs> go and uh, school. Uh, like, 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 if you want to do in the characters, um, have to do. You have to do it well, maybe makeup, maybe costume, mm-hmm. maybe hair, maybe yep. the hairstyle, that are doing well. Yep. Then yep. you collaborate with photographers, I think everyone is waiting to waiting to collaboration. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, That's good. Yeah, using a hand using using a hand for doing do, do, doing a stuff. People will feel that. It's more sincere. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How about uh, cosplay photographers? Do you have any advice for them who, for those especially who want to go professional, just like yourself? Mm. Try to stand up more. Mm. Try uh facing um try to facing more the problem. You have a problem. You have the when you're facing a problem, you have to think another 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 way. This this one is changing. This one is challenge. When you don't break, you just pass the pass pass the truth. Oh, yeah. When you don't just don't break, you can pass the part. You just just pass. Just just pass what exactly? Sorry. Yeah, just don't break. Then you just uh pass your test. Just people will give you oh. a test when you're facing a problem. Okay, I understand. So no matter what, don't give up. Yeah. All right. Uh. Okay. Cool. Right. So anyone here in the audience, you have any questions for? For Kelvin, Kelvin, the superb cosplay photographer who turned commercial photography, he has a wealth of experience. He's also a Sony Alpha guru. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask him in the chat box. I will relay the questions to him. Um, in the meantime, maybe Kelvin you can just show some of your works because uh, you do cover a whole wide genre. Yes, wedding photography, product photography. Oh, can you yeah, look at the food yeah. photography <laughs> as well? Uh, yeah, I actually do a lot of stuff from um, product stuff mm -hmm. from. Food, photo, photography as oh, well. Delicious. So basically, I'm doing a lot of decorations. Mm -hmm. A lot of decoration I'm doing by myself. Yep. Because I'm a book for the production house. Because I stay in art department. Right. Amazing. Yeah, so I have to doing everything by myself at the time. So I try to make something I think is very... So it's wedding. I'm just shot a lot of wedding. Uh, cool. Actual day. Actual days. I'm just... I, what I want to share about this mm. photo is we shot this, we, we shot this uh pictures in one very simple garden, very very simple, just behind the, uh just the room and bright house, mm -hmm. just behind have a one very small garden. We just shot that. <laughs> like, you just play around with angles, I suppose. Like everywhere, I think it's everywhere you have to uh, notice about the environment. So mm -hmm. everyone, everything can become your materials, shooting materials. Yep. Looking your foreground, looking your background. So it can uh, compile become a very good image. Good. So this one, I'm just using a uh, two white bottle, whiskey bottle, <laughs> to, create the, to create the color. Nice. The lighting, the lighting behind actually is the uh, natural light. Mm -hmm. Just natural light in, uh, in my kitchens, actually. Yep, your in kitchen. my kitchens. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I think every different uh, work, different work, different job, there are different difficult part. Maybe your shots for the wedding. Wedding is more about uh, moments. You have to shot about moments. You have to, you have to lead, your, lead your couple, lead your model to go in the goal. Going the go, mm -hmm. so you have to uh doing a very good coaching to the client what, what they are doing because not everyone is the is the model. Yeah, true. You gotta lead. Yeah, you have to lead them. You have to lead them. So like this one, my friend doing a propose. Oh. Doing a wedding propose. So I just I actually I am one of the best men. Ah. So I taking a shot with handheld yep. with uh. Actually, this place is under exposure because this place is very tight. It's very, very tight. So I cannot do using a fresh because when you're using a fresh, the entire, entire environment color has become very flat. Very boring. Yeah, very, very boring. Mm. So I just decide using the environment lighting, using slow shutter to handheld to take in the shots. So, slow shutter? Yeah. I think some people will be like very worried, you know, if you shoot slow shutter indoors, would that result in blurry photos? Yeah, by not every time you have a tripod beside you, so you have to hang out to doing the shot. Maybe you take a few different shots, make sure your hand is stable. Oh, that's a very nifty trick. So if you guys uh, have uh, uh, shoots like this, you know, don't need to worry so much. Yeah, as long as you are able to take a few shots, maybe you can get something good. <laughs> yeah, and another one is... Ibis Power, <laughs> that's right. Oh, wow. But this one I shot for shot in Langkawi. Uh -huh. yeah. Actually, this one not the not not the prevailing photos. Not the prevailing photos. Actually, it's actual day. Uh, this uh, they are doing the actual day in the Langkawi resort. Mm -hmm. So they are hiring the 
flyer flyer performance, but the photographic and video manager didn't get any informed. <laughs> so we just sudden suddenly no have this performing. So so this was all based on luck. You totally have no idea that this is gonna happen. Yeah, we oh. we no idea what this happened. So we just call the car, call the couples to stand there. Uh, of course, of, of course, the fire performers have a one distance, quite long distance. We are using a seventy mm at the time. Right. So this one is a short, uh, slow shuttle. Also, I think it's one per twenty seconds or something. So you have to have, have to hold your hold your camera very very stably and have to tell tell the model don't move, just stay. No movement. They are move. <laughs> their whole image, their their whole image is uh distortion, have distortion and movement. Yeah, handheld, one thirteen of a second. Wow. Yeah. That that shows how powerful uh Sony's IBIS power can be. Yeah. That, that. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I a lot a lot of times the cases of luck. So this one image is I I just shot like not much editing, just uh put some saturation and migration. This one is a perfect per per. Perfect photo when I reach that around eight a.m. mornings. Eight a.m. morning. It's good. Uh, yeah, this one is fun. Actually, yeah. this is fun. Uh, this one is when the RM section is end. Mm -hmm. RM section is end. It's around evening, so we had a sunset. We just told the told told the models told the both couples, just run. Just what? I just. Just run, run. Right. Yeah, just run, just run. Which uh, I, I will follow up to keep capture the moments. Right. Because the sun, the sunset is going very very fast, going up very very fast. Maybe I just have a three minutes or four minutes of that. Oh, the, that's a very tight window. Yeah, the perfect timing. So I snap a lot of photo. Cool. Yeah, in a product. Maybe a product I shot for the models also. Mm -hmm. uh, this collaboration with the uh, one hotel. Uh, of course, they are international models. They they're preparing for the fashion show for the KL Fashion Week at the time. Mm -hmm. So before the KL Fashion Week, they doing doing the shooting. They will uh, screen in the KL Fashion Week. Screening, screening this photo in KL Fashion Week. So I'm doing the. This one is my. Ah, behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah, deco decorations. I'm doing my, I'm doing a lot of decorations for the, for for the client's product, and we, uh, have a connection with uh, connected with client. We discuss a lot of, a, a lot of style, maybe a lot of, a, a lot of product, product style want to go on this season. Yeah. So I'm basically if the decoration, I have to brainstorm everything. Did did it take a lot to to brainstorm for these ideas though? Yeah, brand story every day. How to how how to how to make the products looking very fancy or good, so <laughs> the outcome become like this one. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, this, actually, this one is original photo. I did I I didn't I didn't doing the the touch, yet. Oh, straight out of camera. Yeah, straight out of camera. Hmm. Interesting. So of course I'm doing a uh, event photography for the fashion week also, mm -hmm. but I think different dif different work different job have a different difficult different level. Yeah, just different part. Of course, event type event type jobs are just about uh, timing and moments. And product and post production things may, uh, or portrait you have to doing a planning very very well. Of course, all these yeah. are pre planned before you actually go uh, in and shoot pre production. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Yeah, in for photography stuff, photography stuff, I most planning more like this one is my reference. Ah, so if you guys are watching this at home, these are ideas on how you can post models. Yeah, because not every cosplayer, not every model, they are doing that post very very well. So every time I will found a lot of reference, the drawing reference, mm -hmm. uh, maybe the scouting. Scouting reference to the cosplayer or models, so let them know how to post, how to post, how to how to post well, and after that I can brainstorming the uh, composition and like thing how to apply uh, apply this on the on the photo shoot. Yeah. Good. 
so then this one is quite is very 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 useful for the shoulder how to move your shoulder how to move your leg yeah to become to, to become very very uh very effect very very effective maybe very cute maybe very action <laughs> yeah. you can actually show them right yeah you can actually show them how why why the why why the posing like this one you know, looking good actually it's a composition a human composition also True, true, true. So the result, like the result, like you can see the some similar, very very similar posing like that. Mm. Oh, Alex so, says, uh, or you can pose in front of the models of cosplays like one of your French girls. This is not <laughs> technique, lah. <laughs> yeah, like this one, like like this one, I just uh call them how to pose, how to look because I, I I care about the eyes. Mm. When I should in the cosplay, when I should in the models, I care about the eyes. The eyes is the like the other people soul. Do, right? it's a soul. Yeah, it's a get of soul. When you control, you can control the eyes. You can control the emotionless. You can control the expressions. Yeah. So people will know the feeling. This was shot yeah. in a cupcake, I suppose. Yeah, cupcake. Uh, the behind the spider web. I'm deco by myself. Oh. I'm go buy the you know the Halloween <laughs> and Halloween uh, spider web. The spider I just deco deco the Sakura team become like this one. Oh, it's pretty cool. So, cool. Seems to work. So I, yeah, so I very easy to get the foreground background. So I can do the lighting as well to create a cinematic feel. Alright. Cool. Yeah, this one is a uh, I think. More people they know know this one know this one uh is a Tap Moon series also. Uh, Koshiki, yeah, the course is actually in Singapore now. Oh really? Uh, in Singapore now, uh, there are there is twins. There is twins. Actually, they are based from Malaysia. They are uh they move from Singapore. Mm -hmm. So when I plan this one, when I when I plan this one using around. Three months or half years, I do not really remember. They plan quite a lot. They yeah. seeing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of commercial like this series of commercial how to make the photo splash because the anime showing the showing show, showing the atmosphere, the atmosphere have a like keep raining in the in, in the anime series. So what well, well, is something? <laughs> yeah, it's more like actually I quite took a lot oh, of. Cool. Water shot. Yeah, I can see that. You're the water bender. So a lot of shot. Yeah. Yeah. Kato yeah. asks, uh, Kelvin, where do you find those posing references? Google. <laughs> it's Google when you found you uh you can just found in the Google then you can maybe you can just uh say post reference you when you type post reference it will come out a lot of things mm. maybe you're uh, looking for some artists my favorite artist is a uh, world Wallop in facebook they are doing a, a lot of very very good printing mm. so i take a lot of inspire inspiration inspiration from up to so this actually this photo shoot is my favorite photo shoot in my in, in my in my now my whole journey is one of the, my favorite Yes, I'm a big Final Fantasy fans. Ah. I'm a big Final Fantasy fans. So we planned this one is like crazy. I plan we plan one year. Mm -hmm. We plan one year for the issue thing. Then we uh, the course from Singapore come to Malaysia three times we uh we every three months. Oh. Who who is this? Uh this course called Akane Min. Akane. Cool. Yeah. Akane Min. Actually, they are uh, Malaysian. They are both for Singapore. So, uh, just now, the Shiki, this one is, a, is her sister. Oh, okay. Wow, they're so, related. They are twins. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, we took a lot of time, took a lot of time for this photo shooting, like pre planning, mm -hmm. like what, what we want to show. Like, I draw out, the, draw, draw something, reference to them, to do them, to try to. Try to practice the, uh, practice the posing mm -hmm. before the shooting. <coughs> okay, um, Yon asks, uh, all these shoots involving water, do the models get wet, or is the water splash in front of models? Uh, 
the model sure will get red, but the <laughs> photo is scratched behind or in front. Not at the model, right? Yeah, not at the model. Uh, don't, that's, that's not don't. fun. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. is the model, the makeup, the, the makeup gone. Yeah, of course. Oh, this is a very beautiful shot. I love this shot. It's got a very nice perspective. And the expression is on point as well. Yeah, we shot this in Putrajaya. Mm -hmm. The Malaysia Putrajaya. So, the time is, this one is second time. Second time. This, this, shoot, this photo, this photo, uh, by when I shot this, this actually is raining. Oh. After the rain, after the raining, we wait for the we wait in the car in a while, maybe half and half and forty minutes. Then the rain stop. We uh, very faster take a few shots, then come back to the car, going another another studio to doing the next shooting. Right. Oh, cool. So as you can see, so as you can see, my reference posing reference, I apply a lot of posing reference to the models so i just like show them how you pose how how you look maybe you look at the flower maybe you look at the, another another angles to make the to, to make the atmosphere mm -hmm. to make the atmosphere and the expressions right it actually works because uh yeah. your shots actually look like they tell stories yeah mm -hmm. yes i am in my perspective like oh, photograph this the, the, the lemang. <laughs> I saw the meme on uh, Facebook, I think uh, this is the short result of the Lemang. The Lemang. Raya is coming up. <laughs> yeah. oh, I think it's the photographer, the photographer and like the storyteller and sometimes it's the director also. Yes, I agree. I agree yeah. completely. So by doing this shot, I using a two flash, two two different lighting. Mm -hmm. Two different lighting, but we're using bounce light. We're using a color gel doing a bounce light because uh, behind the behind the flower is too many details. Like yep. if I using the support just direct brush, the detail is too pop up. They didn't have a atmosphere. They didn't have a feel like 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 an anime anime color. So I go for the reference like different different anime looking some like looking some uh, anime artworks maybe the original artworks to reference for the color. Right, makes sense. It really feels like I'm watching an enemy. Yeah. Yeah, this one is very interesting. This position is actually very interesting. The collaboration, collaboration with the Rift. With, with what? Sorry? The Rift, the Rift. Me barely have a one place called the Rift. Oh, you mean the, the like laser tag, is it? Or something? Uh, they are, actually, the, the place they're playing are VR games. Oh, VR games, yeah. This yeah is... A lot of VR games there. The Wait, this is familiar. News. Is this yeah. Kimu? What, what is it? This this cosplay is, is it Kimu? Ah yeah, it's Kimu. Ah, <laughs> what we heard before. Yeah, uh, it's Alex, Kimu. Alex says it's a VR arcade. Yeah. Cool. I, I thought it was Art Nights. <laughs> <laughs> I have I will planning for a short Art Night. Oh. Uh, I think maybe after the MCO. I'm looking forward because, to it. Uh, yeah, because the Mount Taobao everything has the start. Which which character are you all uh doing? I think quite a lot. <laughs> I cannot pronounce it. Could, could, could you could you do me a favor, if possible, uh, try to do this because this is probably one of my most favorite characters. Exercise, I think. Oh, you can't see it. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, the gun. <laughs> the gun. Yeah, she's so awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So I saw one photographer from Singapore that doing very very well. Also. Oh yeah. Yeah, Nick Nick Nick. Oh Nick Yen, yeah, of course. Nick. Yeah. Yeah, he's a very very good photographer. So. Yes, yes, he is. Yes. Uh, he gave me a give, give me a lot a lot of advice too. Oh, that's okay. good. Yeah. I've been quite out of the cosplay scene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, the collaboration with the brief. Then actually, we just have one hour to doing this shoot, oh, so dear. we have to be very very quick. But I think you guys you guys did a fantastic job considering that you're you're rushing for your shots. Yeah, but uh, because we are we already have a planning. Mm. We, we have planned uh, around one or two months. Ah, I see. Before we go there, how to how to, how to set lighting? What lighting I want to? Maybe my environment I want to already recce. Doing a recce first. I think wrecking for any photo shoot is very very important. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, especially you going, maybe you going other state, maybe you travel, tra- travel outside, you yeah, have to do a lot of research. You know, you <laughs> should have a plan B. Yeah, just like your, your shot in the Turangano. Ah, yeah, just now I shot in Turangano. This a lot one. of suffer because not not to, <laughs> even you doing the planning, you are doing planning. The situation suddenly come out. You like always yeah. have a plan. Exactly. Okay, Kelvin. Yeah. Thank you so much for all the sharing. I think uh, I also agree with what Emma said. The sharing is so insightful. Uh, we're still taking some last minute questions from the audience. If you guys got any other questions, feel free to ask. Kelvin, this is your chance to ask him before we wrap up for the evening. Because uh, we actually extended the time by about 11 minutes now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so if there's no other question, I just want to say thank you to Kelvin. You've been a very, very awesome uh, guest for tonight. And the most importantly, you have, you've been a very awesome friend. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks for inviting also. Oh, I appreciate oh, no, no, no. The honor is all mine, man. Uh, to have you actually mm-hmm. agree to say yes and come onto my show, I'm very, very honored as it is. The, the, the <laughs> fact that a Sony Alpha Guru is here with me to join me on my humble, amazing live show on the live stream. Uh, that says that says a lot about your character, really. I really thank you for it because, you know, you, you actually took time <laughs> off your business. Sorry? And you inviting, you inviting me is quite very happy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but seriously, the honor is all mine. I mean, you, you, I, I just have to say this, uh, because when I first met you in 2017, like I, I was sharing with the, the audience just now, you come off as a very shy introverted, uh, not so introverted, but very shy, quiet person. But now you are, you're someone, you're someone that people can look up to. And I think that that's amazing. And I really hope that more uh, cosplay photographers out there will follow in your footsteps to actually realize that there's more to the world of photography other than just cosplay photography and try to make it into something else, you know, go forward, take cosplay ideas, put it into commercial work and make a living out of it. It could be a career yeah. choice. Right, and you are one, one example of how that is possible. Okay, and actually, I want I want to show you something because just now I wanted to pass. Uh, because I uh, just give me a sec. Let me look for it. Ah, yes, it's here. Okay, so just now previously you said that uh, you are a, f- a big fan of Benjamin Von Wong, right? And mm. you keep on saying that nothing is impossible, right? So that actually brought into mind. I still have some. Uh, some of his uh, bracelets okay so oh, I see. the next time I go up to KL right I am going to pass this to you this is oh yeah well thank you so much Ben Ben actually gave me a whole pack to pass it to some of his fans and he actually said you flip it over it says dream the impossible and I think this is something that you'll probably appreciate and I'll reserve yeah, yeah, one yeah. for you okay I appreciate that <laughs> no worries man so the next time I go to KL I'll bring it and we go and meet up with Alex and then he said already uh, yeah, Alex says he wants to bring us to Yamcha <laughs> no, problem. No, problem. no problem okay alright All right. Kelvin uh, I'll problem. put you on mute uh, I'll minimize the screen I'll talk to you in a bit uh, let me just close the show first okay alright no problem okay. thank you so much again thank you uh, ladies and gentlemen Kelvin Wong from Malaysia thank you okay Right, so that was Kelvin Wong. Uh, very, very awesome to have him on the show. Um, we do have uh, a possibility of working together someday, I hope. <laughs> I really hope that we can make that happen. Uh, I do travel to Malaysia quite often. So if possible, maybe someday that will become a reality. But anyway, uh, tomorrow at 5 p.m., we're going to have... Oh, my face is here. <laughs> okay, let's just move that away. Tomorrow at 5 p.m. we're gonna have Earth Wrecker from Switzerland joining us all the way uh, at 5 p.m. Um, that came out wrong. I wanted to say we're gonna have Earth Wrecker joining us all the way from Switzerland at 5 p.m. tomorrow. Okay, so so if you guys uh, know Earth Wrecker, you probably met him on YouTube or in his workshops and things like that. Uh, you probably know that he's one half of the Carl Taylor uh, show with uh, Brown Color. Wait, sorry, Brown Color YouTube videos. I got it all wrong. Sorry, let me repeat that again. I don't know why. I think it's behind beyond 10 p.m. My brain is a bit in for of a flux right now. Uh, let's try it again. Okay, one more time. Feelings. <gasps> Tomorrow at 5 p.m. We're gonna have Earth Tracker all the way from Switzerland. He is one half of Brown Colors YouTube video tutorials on lighting alongside Carl Taylor. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so do join us tomorrow at 5 p.m. on the same channel. I'll be streaming on both Twitch and Facebook. And tomorrow is actually gonna mark uh, the last time I'm dual streaming to both Facebook and on Twitch. Okay, uh, again, another shout out. 
to Razor Tip Stream. Okay, if you guys want to support this channel, if you want to show support for this channel and keep it alive, you can actually contribute by donating or leaving a tip via Razor Tip Stream. All right. Uh, the most important thing is that as you tip or leave donations, all right, you are actually receiving Razor Silver. And Razor Silver is something really awesome because what you can do is you can actually redeem all these great items from Razer. We're talking about headsets, keyboards, mice, what have you. So many different things, even the mics. Okay. And uh, if you're a gamer, mobile gamer, you can actually have all these goodies as well that can be redeemed from the Razer Silver. So if you guys want to show support for this channel, again, just head over to Razer Tip Stream. Uh, give it a go. It's you, you don't have to contribute much. It's okay. Any amount will do and I'm very appreciative. But uh, if you guys want to get as much as you can for Razer Silver to get your gear and your loot, just give more, all right? Uh, you can also show your appreciation by donating via PayPal and Coffee as well. I'm just putting it out there in Twitch, all right? Um, for those of you on Facebook, uh, let me just copy the link over. Just give me a second. I am being a complete clown right now because I can't seem to find the file. And there we go. All right, let me just copy and paste it. Ta-da. Okay, so if you guys want to show support for the channel, this is the way to go. Um, so tomorrow we're gonna have Earth Wrecker at 5 p.m. Uh, once again, this is a wonderful evening. Thank you for being with us all the way until 10 plus. I know we're supposed to end at 10 p.m. But uh, you know, when when things just go on and on and on, you you just have Kelvin sharing so much more awesome stuff. You just want to stay on and listen to him, and this is so fantastic. Perhaps in the future we can actually have Kelvin run a virtual workshop of his own. I think uh, a lot of people will benefit from that as well. All right, so. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and by the way, because Kelvin just now spoke about using Capture One Pro, if you guys are interested, you can actually get Capture One Pro from YL Camera in Malaysia. This is the link. All right, do show them the support. Uh, Capture One now goes for 950 ringgit, which is a lot cheaper than online price right now. You can actually enjoy this and at the same time, support your local partner. All right, local Capture One partner. Uh, for those people who are interested, and you're from Singapore, you are interested to read more about how it is like to become a commercial photographer, you can join the PPAS.SG website, or rather you can go over to the PPASG, PPAS.SG website. My God, what's wrong with me tonight? Uh, this is the Professional Photographers Association of Singapore. Do check it out. We do have some very nice articles that you can read on your own, and these articles can help you figure out how it is like to have the first steps to become a commercial photographer by starting a photography business. So this is something you guys would probably want to take a look at. Very, very useful, very, very helpful. And uh, yeah, use that time wisely instead of just, you know, watching Netflix, read some of these articles. Okay, so anyway, a uh, quick shout out to Sigma Singapore for being our grand supporter. All right, this camera right now, it's shooting with a Sigma lens right now. It's the 16mm f1.4, which I just got. And I just did an unboxing in the previous episode of In Between Episodes. So look at that, man. The quality is just so fantastic. All right. So I just want to say thank you so much for Sigma Singapore for being supportive. They've actually um, come on board as one of our biggest supporters out here. All right. Alongside other brands like Azo and Wacom. All right. Uh, and Broncolor Singapore as well. <laughs> okay. So um, again, another shout out also, of course, to Carousel Singapore for being uh, one of our patrons as well as uh, Razer for putting me on the tip stream platform. And of course, we also want to say thank you to Capture One as well as Sony for pro providing me with awesome gear to work with. Okay lah, actually I buy from y'all lah. <laughs> and Typhoon Systems for their wonderful after sales support when it comes to the computer. The computer that I'm running right now that's capable of streaming flawlessly is actually built by this company called Typhoon Systems. Alright, so if you guys want to check out um, Typhoon Systems, let me just pass you the link because I know some of you guys are gamers and you'll be interested to know that this company builds awesome gaming rigs. So do check it out as well. I'm just putting a link here in the link below. All right, so with that, thank you so much for joining me this evening. I would like to see, oh wait, sorry. We're supposed, supposed to show you this website, okay? <laughs> so this is Typhoon Systems. Uh, yeah. Okay, I, I, I have to be very, very honest here. The reason why I'm rushing through right now is because I need to go to the toilet soon. <laughs> it's a cold day, guys. It's air conditioned and there's rain outside. Oh man, it's tough. Okay, so anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 5 p.m. All right, take the <laughs> till then, take care and stay safe. Oh wow, someone just contributed by the tip stream. Thank you so much. Okay, 
those of you guys who contribute by tip stream, if you guys are the top contributor, I also try to plan something out special for you. Okay, so again, thank you and good night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Stay safe. Goodbye. Come with me. And you'll be in a world of your imagination. Take a look and you'll see into your imagination. We'll begin with a spin track. Three, one, two.